most liberating parts about having a roommate is when your roommate is away. Yes. And your roommate is gone. And you can, you know, go beat your dick up or you can go <laughs> do something. You can listen to the music you like. You can do anything. What? Welcome to episode 115 of The Bracket. Today we are debating which fictional character we would least want to be our roommate. Nick and KB had to call in sick kind of late, so we have some fill-ins today. We have Rudy who's returning for probably like, you've been around for a decent chunk now. I'd say, yeah, right? Yeah, I've had a few, few reps. I've had a few reps in. And then Blutman making his appearance, first appearance on the bracket. Yep, happy to be here. Very excited. And if I'm not oh. wrong, your dad also has some stuff to do with TV and fictional characters, right? Yeah, correct. Uh, Rodan Boy Meets World for a long while. Also did Girl Meets World, much more popular show. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, did some other stuff that some of it got going, some of them didn't. But he's still in the game trying to do his thing. So we have at least some like uh, up bloodlines and fictional characters, which is good. And then obviously Robbie Fox in and Clemmer in. Uh, Going to be an interesting one. But before we get to that, let's talk about our good friends over at Game Time. Uh, you shouldn't have to worry about when you're buying tickets to your next whatever you're doing when you're buying your tickets for your next big event. Game Time is the fast and easy way to buy tickets for all the sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. Uh, we've all used Game Time before. It's excellent. What sh- you got a show coming up, Bob? You going to? Um... Oh, a bunch of shows this summer, actually. There's a crazy stretch where at City Field, it's like Foo Fighters, Blink-182, and Green Day and Smashing Pumpkins within a month. I can't think of Foo Fighters now without that one. Christopher Foo Walking Fighters. Play. Foo Fighters. <laughs> Every single time. I just used Game Time today, actually, to get uh, Rangers tickets for my dad for his birthday. Oh, oh look at that. Yeah. Absolutely wonderful. And spring I, training coming up? Well, yeah, Press Pearl Jam is playing Madison Square Garden, they just announced. You said you said something crazy. You said Pearl Jam should get a super a halftime show. I wrote a blog about it. Yeah, I think oh they should. I, and they won't. I get it. 1997? <laughs> Not even then. I don't think they would. That's crazy. In, in the last 20 years, you've had the Who... Bruce Springsteen, uh, Paul McCartney, you two. Like, They're all bands. way bigger than Pearl Jam. The Who is the, uh, pretty huge. They're pr- Pearl Jam I'll is giant, yes. I'm, not a, I'm not a Pearl Jam guy myself. I'm not into that. I, a, a, to me, I, mean, I, I know they're big. Lars Ulrich is their drummer. No, that's, no, that's Metallica. Metallica. Oh, come on. Well, whatever. I know they're big, but like Bruce Springsteen is significantly bigger than. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know if the Definitely Who is. That. Yeah, but when was that? Eh, that was yeah, in the 2000s. It was this century. Yeah, I mean, I mean like a Black Eyed Peas got a fucking halftime show. Pearl Jam could get one. Agreed. Oh, whoa! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then, <laughs> the all-time great songs. Let's get it started. In the original. There. Not in February, Clummer. <laughs> <laughs> Just a sigh every time we accuse Clummer of anything <laughs> racist. Oh wait, I wonder why. <laughs> Start accusing you, but I mean, the Black Eyed Peas have fucking a bunch of hits. Yeah, they did. Black Eyed Peas are nowhere near the level of importance in music. And oh. you, you, you held back. There no, stink. no. There's no stink. It's just they, they, I think they kind of stink. And Pearl Jam, got, they're a fun. Pearl Jam was the cover of Time my magazine. Humps, it was a huge my deal. Humps, my humps, my the Who humps. is like a, less of an entertainment band, I would say, than like a Black Eyed Peas were. You yeah. Know I mean, not to say that they're worse or better band, but like entertainment value of a Super Bowl, I think it's different. Right, but then why have some of these older bands? I just feel like it's been a while since I've done older bands. I do believe very strongly that the '90s, like Generation X, is the middle child of like of America. Like the millennials got all this attention. Boomers will clutch onto everything. They're they're so attention, and the rest of us who were born like between '64 and '82 are just like, all right. Like a lot of people don't even know what Generation X is. They think it goes right from boomer to millennial. Yeah, you guys yeah. kind of get left in the dark. We do, Stop. and and it's like one more example of it. And it just kind of sucks. Well, you could buy tickets to this. You could have bought tickets to the Super Bowl and seen the Super Bowl halftime show. Well, I'm we going to go see Master Square Garden and see a good show. What show? Pro Jam. Oh, no, duh. Pro Jam. Yeah. All Sorry, that was the whole thing that brought this whole thing together. Uh, you can get last minute tickets, flash deals, and zone deals. Easy to find and buy tickets for every kind of event in your area. It's the only ticketing app that gives you complete peace of mind with your purchase. See your view from the seat before you buy so you know exactly what to expect when you arrive. All in prices show your total upfront so that you know what you're getting and you get a great deal without hidden fees. Buy tickets in seconds with two taps. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code Bracket for twenty bucks off your first purchase. Terms do apply. Again, create an account, redeem code Bracket for twenty dollars off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest prices guaranteed. All right. So for Blutman's sake, we're going to give you a quick rundown of how this essentially works. So we have all of these submissions for the fictional characters that would be the worst roommates. All of them have been assigned to different... Uh, some of them are submitted by people. Usually it would be like if uh, we had got more time, we would have had you guys, both you and Rudy, give your own submissions, and they would be seated into the bracket, and then the winner is essentially the champion of the bracket, and they get to come back on the next episode. But because KB and, and Nick dropped late, you're going to get assigned theirs. So you, you might win, you might not win, 
it's all kind of up to the, the gods right now. But some of us will be defending the ones that we had submitted. Um, so we can jump right into it. First matchup, uh, number five versus the 12 seed. Who would, which fictional character do you least want to be your roommate? The Hulk, which, fair, you wouldn't want the Hulk to be your roommate. Certainly not. Versus Frank and Charlie from It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, which is also a very, very strong pick. They're fucking gross. They're disgusting, <laughs> nasty pigs. They pick their ni- their their toes with knives. Oh, this. They cook, um, was it milk? They sleep, in, they, sleep, they sleep in the same bed. Sleep in the same bed. The dirty the room. They poop. poop. A lot of gross stuff happening there. We'll start with you, Clemmer. Yeah, I mean, Bruce Banner is a fine guy. I mean, he's a scientist. You know, the Hulk's alter ego is, is a good man. But, you know, yes, the Hulk is a, that's a burden. That's a pain in the ass. Don't, you don't want to get him angry. But, I mean, how often is he going to be angry at home? I mean, what once and it's a real issue. But yeah. dealing with Frank he and Charlie all the time. That could be it for you. You're not getting your security deposit nope. back. Yeah. Frank and Charlie, like, all, <laughs> like that, that would be a, a daily nuisance. I feel like I can deal better with something that happens, like, one big event a year but like he could kill he you and he's the you. Hulk. I, I, well, he doesn't run around killing good people. He smashes, though. He You're smash. Th- oh. What happens, happens. If I'm a decent roommate, he's not going to kill me. He hasn't killed the, the uh, other Avengers. He tried. He did in the first one, the very first yeah, Avengers. Doesn't he fight Thor? Tries to go after Black Widow, Thor, like, defense. Isn't there a whole movie of, like, Hulk versus Thor? Uh, Hulk's, yeah. Yeah, Magnarok, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe not a great example. I... I he I still, I Iron still. Man in the second one, Iron Man yeah. has to build a big suit to fight him. It never ends with Frank and Charlie, where I feel like at least you get a break with the Bruce Banner stuff. I'm gonna go Frank and Charlie. Frank and Charlie. Frank and Charlie, gross for sure. But I think we're maybe downplaying just how bad it would be. <laughs> if he becomes the Hulk even one time. Yeah. Like your entire apartment <laughs> is destroyed. <laughs> he might kill you at the very least, severely injure you. So I don't want to always have to be. Like tiptoeing around, and honestly, like he could get angry. He could be fucking reading an article that gets him angry, and then all of a sudden he's <laughs> yeah. the Hulk. fucking Gaza. Jesus so, Christ! Bruce yeah. Banner's definitely one of those guys to read an article and get real angry. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. it's the Dante of the event. <laughs> 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 uh, so, Lori Lightfoot, Lightfoot. Yeah. Shit, dude, Lori Lightfoot inadvertently caused the death of millions. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll go with. Uh, the Hulk. <laughs> One for the Hulk. <laughs> yeah, I, listen, gross roommates are the worst. I would know. They I could be fun, Trent though, for too, a while. You, know? you did oh. with Trent for a while, yeah. And, and Trent oh. is an admitted crumb guy. You know, Trent would oh. have his side of the couch, and there would be crumbs on that side That's of the couch. Disgusting. And multiple times it would be like, Trent, enough with the fucking crumbs. And he... In his defense, was like, I'm just a crumb guy. You just got to live. <laughs> That's not a defense. <laughs> That's, That's just being lazy. <laughs> he just told me, he's like, there's going to be crumbs in my no. trail. Wherever I go, there's crumbs. So that was something not, that I dealt That's not an excuse. Not I vacuumed his side of the couch for years. <laughs> but I agree with Tommy. One instance of the Hulk becoming the Hulk, your apartment's destroyed. The apartment above you is probably destroyed. The apartment below you might be destroyed. You can't have the Hulk as a roommate. Mm-hmm. So two for the Hulk. Rudy. I'm operating under the assumption that if I choose the Hulk as a better roommate, that we are in the universe of Marvel, that cinematic universe, where so entire cities get de- destroyed regularly, and they're just erected again six months later. So I'm going to operate like No, I think like we're apart- bringing these people to Earth, to real Earth. So we're the- It is on Earth. No, like, we're, br- we're Earth. not bringing them to, to their cinematic universe. We're not going we're br- there. We're bringing to them to us. Why, why do you get to say that? Because that's just how this works. I feel like so, it's kind of a bracket. I'll start with Tommy on that one, even though I, I'm... Tommy's chairman of the Sanctity of the Bracket. Yeah, Sanctity yeah. of the Bracket. Oh, I mean, I, well, mean, I just way. think that changes. Then what, if we have a, a Family Guy character on here, you're a fucking cartoon? And, and <laughs> hog, yeah. That's fair. Uh, but either way, I'm not picking Frank and Charlie. Because strictly on the grounds of inviting people over, having those two buffoons, granted, very funny, but it would just... It would wear at me. Whereas the Hulk, you get Bruce Banner. Sometimes you get Bruce Banner merged with the Hulk, so you get Smart Smart Hulk. Mm-hmm. I would rather have that because it's like, oh, you want to like hang out later? I got the fucking Hulk. That's pretty cool. Yes, he can destroy my apartment. Yes, I'll probably end just my time with death. Just be super nice to him. <laughs> but it's way more metal than just coming home to two Philly schlebs that yeah. are just doing gross shit and weird stuff. Even though they're very objectively funny, I'm going to go with the Hulk just because I like the Hulk. And it probably wouldn't be much better. So wait, but I think you're Frank saying the Charlie Hulk is, is the better roommate? You want the We're Hulk? Choo- yes. You're choosing the worst. You're choosing the worst. I'm, the worst would be Frank and Charlie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's on the right track. Yeah. It is funny to imagine like warning your girl about your roommate 
and like yeah. it's the Hulk. Yeah. <laughs> when yeah. she shows up. Yeah. Just don't make him angry. You might be able to sick the Hulk on people too if he if he likes you. Yeah. You might def- defend you if you went out with the Hulk. Landlord. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kill your landlord. If, if Corinna Kahn fed Hulk at home, that she would not have got robbed. Tell you that yeah. for free. Yeah, for sure. So, she uh, got robbed. How did you she not turn those that? guys into soup recently? Yeah. I feel like that's something you'd be right on top of. I just look at pictures of her breasts. Fair enough. (laughs) (laughs) They didn't steal those, thank God. Uh, Jay. (laughs) It's got to be the Hulk. I mean, that's not a guy who does laundry ever. (laughs) Like, his clothes are just constantly tattered. And Frank and Charlie are? Bruce Banner would do laundry. Uh, I don't know. Um, But also, like, the Hulk constantly, like, ripped. Super great bod. He's going to be without a shirt nonstop. He's green. And you're just going to, like, no matter what your body looks like, it looks puny compared to the Hulk. So are you and worried gross. the Hulk's going to fuck your girl? <laughs> I, I mean, Hulk's that... Mad. You're worried about the if Hulk you, if, giving if, you yeah. body dysmorphia. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So all of these... I would not want the Hulk. In addition, to, of course, he'd destroy the apartment and you, but... Um, That's a yeah. side note. Yeah. The laundry yeah. and the issue, body dysmorphia. Laundry. You're not going to yeah. like it. You look in a mirror. Yeah. <laughs> Forget it. Yeah, that is I actually would not kind of a nightmare scenario. Like if your girl was over and like Professor Hulk walks by coming out oh, of the shower, yeah. Oh, yeah. towel yeah. around his waist, you're done. Seven towels yeah. tied together yeah. around his waist. Yeah. <laughs> Fat fo- cock almost as big as Drake's. <laughs> Jeez, almost. <laughs> almost. Yeah. Almost. <laughs> yeah. Uh, three to two in favor of the Hulk. Blutman. Yeah, I wouldn't want the Hulk to be my roommate uh, more so. I'm really just stuck on this whole thing of him potentially um, – you know, crushing the apartment complex or whatever, <laughs> and the annoyance that that would bring to, well, every other month I'm going to have to find a new place to live, and then it's being crushed again. Yeah, and it's point. just a never-ending cycle. I don't want to deal with that. That it's is very annoying. annoying. That is annoying. I don't like annoying crushed. things. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. great. Moving sucks. Moving is hard. Move a lot. Yeah. Yeah. If the Hulk was your roommate, he'd be a good mover, though. Yeah, that's he true. Yeah. Great point. Yeah. Yeah. He has to have great insurance. I would imagine. Yeah, probably. probably uninsurable. Uh, <laughs> maybe. Uh, so the Hulk is going to move on. Next matchup, we have the four seed versus the 13 seed. The four seed is the Wonka grandparents. <laughs> so all four of them in the single bed uh, in the bed oh. next to yours, I get, or in the next bedroom in your, of your apartment. Uh, gets going up against number 13 seed. Like four of you submitted this. The Kool-Aid man. Oh. Submitted by like four different people. Pretty similar to the Hulk. Yeah, in a yeah. lot of different ways. Yeah. Except he is more explicitly just a one-trick pony as far as yeah. the crushing goes. Like he's guaranteed to break walls. And yes. he's always the cool man. Yeah. He's never a Bruce Banner. Yeah, there is no true. alter yeah, ego yeah, yeah. here. Right. So the Wonka grandparents, all four of those disgusting old bags in a <laughs> single bed versus the cool aid man, Blutman. Yeah, so real quick my thoughts here in a real life scenario unfortunately the wonka grandparents are probably they're on the verge of exiting this planet Mm -hmm. so (laughs) you could put up with that for a little and then you know maybe you're looking at a new roommate in the future hopefully not the hulk whereas with the kool-aid man how again with the annoyance how annoyed are you going to be on that 18th time of him barging in through the door doing his shtick i'm not with that i wouldn't want him as my roommate i'd rather have the grandparents and uh again an exit from the planet probable in the near future yep uh the kool-aid man taking one vote che how the kool-aid man isn't a one seed in this is (laughs) outrageous if like four of us suggested that like this guy's breaking a wall every time he comes into the <laughs> like into the apartment so you're constantly yeah. dealing with contractors drywall you're probably getting thrown out of several apartments Kool-Aid man would be the worst roommate possible what if you just have an open concept you'd have apartment? to get rid of walls you'd have to have like those blue tarps yeah there's no door that he could enter imagine yeah. living in that that'd be <laughs> horrible it had to be like a dry, warm climate. He would need to get like the bedroom closest to like a back alley or yeah. something. Yes. And then <laughs> like he just kind of has his own little entrance. He's loud too. That's the thing. Oh, and he's not that. funny also. He, and no. he's celebrating it. Every time <laughs> yeah. he breaks the yeah. he's going, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Don't so want that. Does have Kool Aid though. That's you right. can't drink his Kool Aid. Does he die or does it automatically? No, but doesn't he have pictures? Like his blood. But doesn't he have pictures? Other ones with him. He, do, she's, he, does, he, he usually brings some for he, others. He does bring Can't drink him. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> if you're in a warm climate too, I mean, Kool Aid attracts a ton of bees. Oh, so yeah. Yeah. hard <laughs> pass. <laughs> That's so true. Two for Kool Aid. A lot of bees. 
<laughs> That's so true. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, Kool Aid Man would be horrific, and I would I agree with Blubbin, but I would take it one step further. I wouldn't be above providing that exit earlier for the grandparents. All four of them at the same oh. time? No, I think you want to keep them. You got four other people splitting rent. Instead, think about that. They're, they're, <laughs> they're, they're splitting rent, though. I don't know if they're. Oh, they're poor as fuck. They, yeah, they're they are. They're so wretched. Poor. Then I'm fucking evicting their <laughs> decrepit asses. <laughs> they they're probably have like squatters rights on your some. Yeah, they're they're really poor. But their grandson's a fucking mil- owns well, the chocolate factory. I guess it depends when we encounter yeah, when, you get, when they become your roommates. I would think these are the mm. poor ones because they're still in bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They just depends. Yeah. Smell but you like know what? Poopy. Talking to old, I like talking to old people. They're assholes, yeah. though. They, they, they kind of suck. pretended to be crippled until Charlie said, I'm going to the chocolate factory. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah, they switched up like crazy. Yeah. yeah. People, don't, we don't really yeah. like them. Uh, at least not here. Uh, Robbie? Uh, yeah, the Kool-Aid man for sure. You can't live with the Kool-Aid man. What do we call that when Tommy does it? Is it code switching? Code switching is that what it's what? called? When you're like you, <laughs> yeah. when you pretend to be, when you're that. something that you're not, like when you, <laughs> well, when he does black voice. Yeah, when Tommy does, I'm comparing it to the old people dancing around. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's what, was, that's what I was going for. <laughs> the Wanda Sykes impression is what we're the Wanda waiting Sykes on. Sykes episode is all time. Holy shit, uh, <laughs> Tommy. Kool Aid Man, yeah. Like you know, I mean, maybe these poor fucks can split rent. Maybe they can't, but definitely less of a hassle in your day to day life than yeah. Than a guy literally breaking a wall. Imagine every time doing a podcast it. and just hearing like, <laughs> God damn it, uh, not again. Sorry, it's just blue snowball. I yeah. can't get this thing to work. Yeah. Nope, just a roommate. Uh, Clemmer? Yeah, clean sweep. I mean, the old people are annoying, but there's still four of them. They're in that room. I think they all, like I said, they all pretend to be sick. So I know that they're moving around a lot. Mm. They're not like bothering you in the kitchen a ton. They're probably asking for food, but they're not like in your way a ton. I think they stay in the room. You just have like four destitute beggars in your That's other true. room. <laughs> <laughs> I'd still rather have be, that than a guy smashing through my wall. Bedridden. It would be piles. having like four uh, deficient Roombas in your apartment at all times. <laughs> yeah. I don't clean. Yeah, that don't they're actually. Just, yeah, they don't work. They, they don't, don't do clean, anything. but constantly how need batteries. Cool, how does the Kool Aid Man sleep? Because if he lays down, Ooh, he loses it all comes his Kool Aid. Does he, I guess he like, like an astronaut standing up. standing up. He can kind of sit down maybe with his legs. Like, like He's probably like a shark where we don't know how they sleep. He just probably like stands. We don't know how sharks sleep? They I think don't that's one of the great right mysteries. Though. They do sleep. I know whales just sort of float vertically. Maybe we do know how sharks sleep. Mm. I'm sure we, don't we do. don't know how the Kool-Aid man. I, I, but we do not know how the Kool-Aid man sleeps. Yeah, that's a fact. No, no one actually knows that. So the Kool-Aid man, clean sweep moving on. Next matchup, we have the eight versus the nine. The eight seed is Jess from New Girl. So the main character from New Girl. Zoe Deschanel? Zoe Deschanel's oh. character. You, I, he's a big Zoe Deschanel, horny beautiful, synth. Beautiful, beautiful. All time. Um, all time. For me. Not, the, not the greatest, but she's in the top five or all ten. All time. Who's the greatest? The greatest Lord. in terms of uh, Jennifer, hot? Jennifer Connelly, the hottest woman who's ever lived. Who is Jennifer that? Connelly. Who is from that? the 90s. It's a Beautiful Mind. Um, Att- Alita Battle Angel. Uh, was it I know the name. Check out the movie Opportunity Knox. It's a early I mean, 90s. But she's pretty. I mean, she's hottest woman that's ever lived. Jennifer Connelly is the all timer for me. Oh, yeah, I recognize her. Yeah. Wait, so oh, what else is good? Oh, hell no. This one from Requiem for a Dream? Yeah. Pass. Yeah. <laughs> I just won the whole time. Oh my God. God. Yes. Wow, good for you. I'd still yeah. fuck the shit out of her. She's <laughs> not the hottest woman who's ever lived. Huh? Wait, so who else is on Clemmer's top list? Ooh, I have to think about that one. Uh, Tell me Patrick. it's not like Sigourney Weaver. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you being a Jodie Foster yeah. guy. No, yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, Mark David Chapman. Lucille Ball. I have to think of it. Oh, I mean, I mean, nowadays. What about something from your era like Cleopatra? From like yeah. the, from, I'm trying to think of the old age. Like, um, what is it? Alexander Daddario is like got to be in. Oh, yeah. Next. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. that true detective. True detective. Yeah, like, that's insane. Real ones now. That is, that is insane. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's probably, but like Jennifer Connelly for me is like just, she's, and she was beautiful for a long time, too. Mm-hmm. That, that matters. Right, he's a Jennifer Connelly guy. Yeah. But yeah, so Jess from New Girl, who was submitted a lot on Twitter, too. She just, and I agree, she falls under this one category where she's just. She's annoying. Lead, very annoying in the lead of a show where everyone else around her is great, and she just sucks. She's a little annoying. She's not She's that pretty annoying. annoying. Sim. Would you want her as a roommate? Yeah. Why? Because she's hot. I don't think I would want to. But I don't. Yeah, I, I, I can't tempt myself. Like that, that would be that a hot roommate might not might not be the best idea. Yeah. But you must have hot friends. 
the, 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 she the does. Cool, Cece? The friends are good. Dude, Cece? She's yeah. coming around your apartment oh, all the time yeah. now? Yeah. This, is, this is a bad God, Anyone I forgot who wouldn't about want Cece. Zoe Deschanel's yeah. room, it's but crazy. It's not, it's, you know, I mean, it's not Zoe Deschanel, to be clear. Yeah, it's, it's the character, character from the TV show. She stinks. She's and it looks like her. Does it look like her? Annoying. She's very annoying. Well, she plays her, so yeah. yeah so, it oh, looks so then that's pretty fucking good. Start with you, Clemmer. It's going up against number nine seed, the Joker, Jared Leto's version. Oh, very oh. Oh. <laughs> oh god! The very, very annoying oh. version with damaged printed across his forehead, purple Lamborghini playing, the weird outfits, the whole nines. So Jared Leto's Joker versus Jess from New Girl. There's Funny. been a lot of Jokers. You can go back to the '60s. You have Cesar Romero. You have Joe, the, uh, Murder, you have, Sal. Yeah. You have the <laughs> Q. You have the um the cartoon with Mark Hamill. Joey with, Fatone. There's been a Joey bunch Fatone. of Jokers. Eric Andre. <laughs> there's no worse. Horrible, annoying, worthless Joker than the Jared Leto Joker. That is like one of the worst characters in film. He managed to somehow destroy, uh, temporarily, a great yeah. character. Luckily, you know, uh, Joaquin Phoenix won the Oscar for it later on. He is awful. He's so bad. It's so atrocious. It's him. Zoe Deschanel is a gift. It's not Zoe Deschanel. <laughs> like, I, physically, it looks like her. It is not her person. It is the character. Let's all thank her for just existing. Yeah, thank you, Zoe. Thank oh, you. God. Tom, it's good. It's good. Yeah, I feel like Clemmer focused a little bit too much on, like, Jared Leto's performance and not the fact that the Joker is a psychopathic yeah. serial killer. <laughs> I think that's more the downside to living with him. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> the clown uh, prince of crime. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be like, oh, your performance is awful. I'm going to be like, oh, did you... But kill he, anybody today, Mister like, Joker. But he rubs me like even like Heath Ledger's version is funny. Like yeah, it'd be horrible to live with a guy like that. But it's like all right, he's gonna make me. There's nothing redeemable about Jared Leto's perform or the the character. Yeah, I agree. I trait. agree. Uh, yeah, I mean, just from New Girl, annoying, not quite as bad as the Joker. How is the Joker the nine seat and just the eight? Oh, wait till you get to the rest of these. All you right. understand? So I'm, I'll go with uh, I'll go with the Joker. The Joker. Robbie? Easily the Joker for me. He's bringing along a girl much more annoying than Jess oh, and Harley ooh, Quinn. Oh, You're ooh. gonna have to deal with those two bickering and fighting banging. all the time. The worst third that. wheel ever. Oh. The worst. You and get home, he's just complaining gonna... about Batman. Yes, constantly. <laughs> like, this fucking guy. But you secretly know, like he kind of likes him. You're like, <laughs> yeah, I think I think you're. Bro, into I this. think you should ask him out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, Jared Leto, the real Jared Leto on set, was like sending used condoms and yeah. dead rats to his Pig castmates. Guts. Like, yeah, wasn't he fuck? like trying to be like super method? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The real Zoe Deschanel just singing nice songs. If we're saying that we're getting all these new girl people, if we get Jessa, then we also get we have Margot Robbie as and all the rest of those DC people. But again, it's not Margot Robbie. Yeah, it's it's Harley, Harley Quinn, Quinn who's also, like I mean, I don't the most know annoying person. How what her? You get Colonel Rick is. Flag, maybe. You don't like Colonel Rick Flag? You get you get he's sad. Will Smith. My my, he's not a needle mover for me. <laughs> Colonel Rick Flag is not a needle <laughs> he's mover. Not a needle mover. No. They're crazy. Uh, Rudy. It's a no-brainer. It's a joker. And the unfortunate reality is that there is probably 50 to 100 people like this that live in Brooklyn that have a, a roommate that is the Jared Leto joker. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so that's unfortunate. I don't think Zoe Deschanel and whatever her name is, a new girl, she's annoying, but at least she's like an entertaining, innocent, bubbly person. She means well. I think, yeah. In comparison to Jared Leto joker, I mean, it is a blowout. <laughs> a... On top of being a psychopathic killer, like Tommy said, even more so being like remarkably cringe. Yes, in yeah. every capacity, uh, it's like as if it's like mixing Quagmire with the Joker. It, <laughs> it's it's, it's true. It's just it's just so bad. It's just the Joker, Jared Leto's Joker. Jared Leto's Joker, Che. So I've had this take before, and I, I'm, I should preface it with I've only seen Suicide Squad, so I don't know any of these director's cuts or sequels or whatever i liked jared leto's joker. wait that's the oh. only joker you've seen no no, no. Uh, oh. as far as jared leto's version so that's, that's the, the only, only one he's in, in. he's right? he's yeah. briefly in like, uh, but the like snyder cut actually which is even worse yeah oh the justice league yeah, yeah. dude we got to stop the snyder cuts dude like yeah. someone needs to get Zach rid snyder of this sucks. guy yeah. He's, he's a sucks. shitty director. He's awful. Yeah. He's the worst, dude. Hey, 300 it's like, rocks. I'll stand by. He literally 300 you like does rule. 300. 300. Is I oh, like 300. Oh, it's a good movie. Fine. He's got a couple 300 good movies. Rules. He even fucked up the Watchmen, which is an amazing book. I like Watchmen. Dude, How do you he, fuck up Superman? That's a good. That's <laughs> we a great were talking question. about this in the office today. Yeah, Superman I, didn't save I, a soul. I kind of like Man of Steel, but yeah, yeah he, he he kills oh. everyone in Metropolis at the end of that movie. Dude, all of his movies remind me of Sharper Image. Or like <laughs> fan cam edits on TikTok. It's like, how can we make this more black and white and like enough slow mo? 
stop. It's like a sixth grader's like idea of what's cool and edgy yeah. at mm-hmm. all times. Yes. Yeah. So that's so, another. Sorry. One, another one for Leto. I just, you know, I had a low one to let you vent. Uh, sorry, Jay. <laughs> that I mean, I I just think he was. I wanted him in that. He was only in that movie for like ten minutes. I wanted him in that movie way more than he uh, his airtime. Um, that, that being said. Yeah, you might be the only person to say that. (laughs) Once more Leto. Uh, That being said, a horrific roommate. I mean, any type of murderer, yeah, I'd rather have an annoying girl as a a roommate. It is. We have to be the only people that have ever matched up Jess from New Girl and the Joker. This is, would you rather be roommates with an annoying woman or a (laughs) serial killer (laughs) master of crime? Yeah, I kind of hate having to talk to people and everything, but... I there's an angle here where I am kind of fascinated by the Joker just coming home to the apartment and just asking him how his day was, how everything went, and seeing <laughs> these answers kind of unravel day after day and kind of being a part of that 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 life. Nonetheless, I can't lie, I've seen neither of these things. Um, I don't have the best take for this, so I'll just agree with all of you. The right. Joker. The Joker, Megan moving on with a clean sweep as well. Uh, now we have the one seed versus the 16 seed Che in game. That's our playing game. Um, we'll run through those. Some of these are Knicks, which I, he, he had a Pokemon, which I was going to show, but I don't think we're enough of us are into Pokemon enough to try and even judge that one. He put Johnny Bravo, parentheses, sexual assaulter, fair. Mm-hmm. He put Caillou, parentheses, baby, comma, cunt. <laughs> okay you put garfield parentheses asshole glutton true uh-huh. i'm allergic to cats too uh <laughs> clemmer put trevor from gta 5 which was very sure i was so shocked by that why does that shock you why yeah because that's it was in my brain crazy. gta is a relatively too new of a game for him to have played and i don't oh, think of clemmer no. as a gamer in that sense I he think thinks he, i'm a thousand years old. It, it, it's not even that it's a gaming aspect it was of it. 33 when it came out but 32. it's the gaming aspect of it you I, know what i mean i, I have a ps5 baseball, i think of you as baseball reference <laughs> and that it that's it like baseball simulators no i i, I played i just I played madden last night i'm, I'm young so that's and, it like sports i'm games. young at heart i don't think of you as like a, a you know role-playing game or anything else like that type of guy oh no, no I, I think a clemmer role playing. he goes lot. over the top in role plays in gta <laughs> he said he, he he'll act as the character he's yeah. playing as in gta in, so if i'm Not trevor I'm, I'm crazy no no playing the game yeah so oh. if i'm trevor i do crazy stuff but if i'm franklin i'm, I'm usually kind of by the book it's fucking crazy I, I like that um yeah. che put kane from wwe that's a good pick Robbie, yep. I'm sure appreciate it. Very always good on fire. Kane or Glenn yeah. Jacobs, the real man behind him. Yeah. Either oh, one yeah. works. Always on fire. Always. Yeah, and disrupting weddings. Yep. Doing oh, you, yeah. You cannot invite him to your wedding. No. I mean, he'll probably show <laughs> up even if you don't. He'll show up and disrupt? Whose yeah. wedding was it? The Christians? It was uh, Lita's. Lita. Because he was in love with Lita. That's right. Uh, Tommy put Ant-Man because you never know if he's there or not. He can grow too big and destroy the place. Yeah. Ant-Man, True. I mean, maybe you want to jerk off and you're no, like fucking... That, that's a bad one. Ant-Man. He'd be <laughs> a great he's a, well, It's like Paul Rudd. Like he's oh, like yeah. a, the I was thinking college guy. roommate. I guess you could jerk off in your... But like maybe he's in your room. Ant-Man, like, Ant-Man could just be sneaking up on you. But you're, you're yeah, saying but if you were as if he's a pervert. Yeah, if you I'm were Ant Man, you wouldn't watch another man jerk off. Why would yeah. you do that? I might. Tommy definitely. Tommy <laughs> oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Robbie wouldn't. Or I, All right, what if he gets super Scott big? Scott Lang wouldn't. He doesn't fuck yeah. up like that. Mm. I like how in your All world right. a superhero is going to spend his time. W- <laughs> I just don't like watching Tommy I just, jack off. Like I feel like he could fuck with me a lot by getting super small. Like I, I know, I know he's good at heart, but he's a bit of a you know prankster. You're describing like <laughs> Roan with an Ant Man suit. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds that's horrible. Not Scott Lang. Well, Scott Lang's a pretty normal him. guy. All right, all right, regular look. All right, and then <laughs> no t- one wants to watch you jack off. The next one, Tommy put is Tweety Bird. Which are, what? Yeah, just, uh, annoying noises. <laughs> 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 that's really it. A bird would be making fucking annoying noises. A noise. bird? Yeah, I would. I I never. Birds are I don't awful. like the idea of owning a bird. At least we, we owned a bird for a while. Oh, that's kind of cool. Birds are so annoying. I guess. Just the Clem, are you had a bird pet? Yeah, we had a bird pet for a year at my house, and we found another home for it, thank God, because it was horrible. My it was mom just got one. I kind of like it. Oh, I love a bird. I had a, I had a like, bird in my family like for a, a while. It talked. You, wait, you had a macaw? What did you have? <laughs> um, We had a, a parrot. You had a, So both of those talked? Right? Yes. Is that mostly a macaw thing? I feel. Like I don't know. I, this one talked. We didn't say much. It sucked. Mm. Oh, my, my Paco... Paco did not shut the fuck up. 
but he was very entertaining. And now he, uh, they live forever, and he yeah. now has a different home and is famous on TikTok. Really? Oh, really? Which kind of pisses you. me off. <laughs> yeah, seriously, yeah. could have been you with the viral. It's actually pet. annoying as fuck. But I'm glad he's doing well. Uh, Paco. He, he used to say his name. He used to go Paco. <laughs> It's kind of uh, cute. Funny. Rafi from the league was also suggested a lot. Respect. Yeah, Oof. he was. A, he was a would be a bummer of a roommate. Um, and then lastly, a couple people submitted Ted Lasso. Too positive. <laughs> oh, too positive of a person to be a roommate. Which I think it would I depend. Like Ted Lasso. I hate yeah. the show. I don't know if he'd be an awful roommate. That's fair. So we'll run through the options again. You can pick one to be our 16 seed. Uh, Johnny Bravo, Caillou, the baby cunt, uh, Garfield, Trevor. From GTA, Kane from WWE, Ant-Man, Tweety Bird, Rafi from the League, or Ted Lasso. <laughs> Blutman, which one do you like out of that grouping to be our 16 seed? So I, I'm supposed to be picking someone that I think could... Hmm. Is the worst out of this group. Yeah, which one of these is the I, worst I roommate? think I'm a big fan of the League, so I kind of have biases towards Rafi. And just, <laughs> Sorry. Bless you. All good. Um, the, the thought of... Rafi Rafi bombing at 3 a.m. or offering you a pocket dog and like a- after you just woke up don't love that Tweety Bird also terrible I-, I couldn't deal with the noises that is a tremendous pick Tommy thank you uh, I- I- I'll- also would probably use you- your head as a nest Ooh, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, Long that makes me want to lean towards Tweety Bird then because I wouldn't have fun with they, would, they would have a field day with that head Okay, I picked Tweety Bird. Really scared me. One for Tweety Bird. Che. I don't know some, uh, I would say at least 30 or 40% of these people. Um, uh, weird way to, <laughs> to put it in a percentage. <laughs> there's only like five of them. <laughs> I don't know if I said a couple <laughs> of these. I said like three. <laughs> well, there's a couple. Like the, the Nick ones are really like, I didn't know who these people are. I know who Johnny Bravo is, I guess. Um, didn't know anything about his sexual assault history, but. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, I'm gonna go with uh, with Kane. Just all your shit being on fire would be very annoying. Fair. Um, and I'm also imagining him with the Kane version where he needed like one of those like cigarette smoker things to talk, mm, where yeah. it'd be like the vibrating tricky out of thing. Yeah. Very, very cre- creepy voice. So yeah. Kane. Does he come with Taker? No, oh, but right. I'm sure he comes That'd over every worse. now and then. Yeah. 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 Brothers yeah. of Destruction. Brothers of Destruction. Yeah. I think. I don't know. Uh, Rudy. So who's Caillou? The little bald, little bald baby, baby guy. Like, he's a TV show for kids. I never saw that. Uh, yeah, I'm not. I like know of it, but I've never seen it. I don't know if I have. So it was like a cartoon, a kids' cartoon show with. Like, it wasn't actually like a bald. It was like a bald, like he must have been like a first grader or something. He could talk, right? He could talk. Yeah, yeah, he was like in elementary school or something. He was like four years old. Okay, and he's annoying. Uh, yeah. he's pretty annoying. I don't know. Not really, honestly. He's just kind of a regular cartoon. Okay, so then there's Caillou Kane. Tweety Bird, what else? Trevor. Uh, How are we not saying tre- Trevor, Trevor is like the from, worst person ever? Trevor he's from Grand Theft Auto. the Joker. Yeah. <laughs> he's like a hick version of the Joker. Johnny Bravo, Caillou, Garfield, Trevor from GTA, Kane, Agent Ant-Man, Chaos. Tweety Bird, Rafi from the League, Ted Lasso. Oh, it's Rafi. Rafi. It's I- Rafi. I mean, he's so annoying. He's like liable to get you in trouble. You want to talk about someone that would bust it on you beating off Tommy? This yep. is your nightmare. Yep. I was going to say, like, I've seen the League... But it's been a long time, and I haven't seen that much of it. I do remember Rafi, like, hit rate of making me laugh insanely high. Yes. Like, I feel like I remember him being one of the funniest characters I've ever seen on TV. I just, unfortunately, don't remember that much. I just remember that he really made me laugh. I don't remember that much else about him. So, he does seem like he'd be a bad roommate, but I don't know if I could pick him in good faith. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Yeah. And then, I don't know much about Kane, but, uh, yeah, it's Rafi. Trevor has a heart of gold. Underneath it all. What? Wow. He's awful. He murdered that poor girl who had... Uh, <laughs> she had it coming. No, I don't think she did. If you kill Michael as Franklin, then he stops talking to you. Like, he's an honorable guy. He's got a hard... He rides or dies with the yeah. homies, dude. Oh, he's a bad guy. He, I said he killed that, that couple in that apartment. That's just Trevor oh. being Trevor. That's fucked up. Just Trevor being Trevor, man. It's already it, now. I'm starting to under. I was with you, but like, how are you playing Grand Theft Auto if you're having like re- reservations about the character? <laughs> <laughs> I can the I can judge it. what's happening on the uh, you, you know play online. On, it's, 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 uh, I don't play online. No, no I play against computer. Yeah, that would be. You're sounding like you're sounding like Elon right now, dude. Uh, you know, I, I judge the characters, but I have still you know I play it, but you know it's happening in front of me. I, I still have you know I still get upset. Yeah, yeah, but it's Rafi. Rudy, you might find this funny. I, when I um, I did something with Game Time once where I went to the, like, the Ubisoft headquarters to test. Assassin's Creed Odyssey 
like mm -hmm. uh, with the whole group there, like the whole French Canadian crew is there like watching us play. And they gave us like one of those like moral checks or morality checks. We're like, hey, you can mm -hmm. do option A, kill all these civilians and get all this money. Or do option B, save them and let them go. And I killed them and took all the money and they were horrified. <laughs> they were like, you are the first person we have seen you as of all the testing. And like they were blown away that someone actually would do that in the morality check. But it, that was a fun time back when you did a bunch of fun stuff in game time. Uh, remember we did Red Dead? Were you there oh, yeah. for that grouping? For, at Rockstar. Yeah, at Rockstar yeah. headquarters, which was awesome. Really fun. That was yeah. really cool. Another great game. Uh, Robbie. I'm going to go Kane. I love that pick um, from Che. He's definitely, of all the wrestlers, one of the worst you could be roommates with. What would be if you had to pick another one, a wrestler, to be the well, worst? i got to look up. There's, there's this guy, the Bastion Booger from back in the day, oh. that was just disgusting oh, looking. Disgusting. Remember him? Disgusting. He, yes, he's the first one that came to oh, mind for God. me. Just disgusting looking. God Ooh. damn. Ooh, yeah. that's a nasty freak right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that is just a he looks like a grosser version of like butterball butter oh, like butter, but, sorry butter yeah, bean yeah, except yeah. with um he's like a goatee this guy seemed just like a big guy but Kane. no it's a, kane's a psychopath he lights everything on fire gotcha. yeah oh, he's a pyromaniac yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh so you're going with kane tommy i'm torn between like rafi i feel like if i remembered the character more he's a great pick Garfield, I have to go Garfield. I'm allergic to cats. Like that, I I mean, he's he is, as Nick said, a glutton and a grouch. And even worse than that, I'd like constantly have a scratchy throat. He's not even the most he's annoying easy. person in that strip. Like Jim is way worse. I don't know the strip well enough. Like the, the, guy, the guy that owns The guy that uh, owns Garfield is like, so much more annoying. Uh, he's like the worst. Yeah, I'm not allergic to humans. I'm allergic to cats. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> uh, one for Garfield. Clemmer? Trevor. Trevor. So that means that Kane is going to move on. Oh. I didn't expect it, but Kane's going to move on to face our number one seed. Uh, our number one seed in today's competition is Janice from The Sopranos. <laughs> Janice from The Sopranos got a lot of heat. And I put it in as like a joke, as like the opening gift for the suggestions. Yeah. Everyone was like, she has to be the one seed. She has to be the one seed. It has to be the one seed. It I'm going to sound cr as a, you're going to take my Italian <laughs> card, but is she the wife? or She's Tony's sister. Got it. Starts okay. in season two. Yeah. She's John, the worst. Janice from Friends would be an awful another movie. another Dude, horrible. Yeah. Oh, That's wow. true. Yes. So Janice Soprano or Kane? I'm not a huge wrestler, wrestling fan. Um, I Janice Soprano is one of the most in, you know intentionally, but one of the most annoying characters in history. She's also evil. Um, yeah. She's manipulative. She's terrible to children. She's terrible to adults. Terrible to old people. She's a horrible, horrible, horrible person. Janice mm. Soprano. Janice Soprano. I'm torn here. I, I plan on starting Soprano soon, and I don't watch, but I don't watch wrestling. You're saying Kane sets a lot of things on fire? He has, like, a, basically a supernatural ability to do it as well. Uh, I have to go with that. Janice okay. has, in the <laughs> loosest of terms, killed a roommate before. Okay. Uh, <laughs> in the loosest of terms. Yeah. In the loosest of terms, yeah. she has. No spoilers. Um, again, the fought, like, the fire thing's a real a real deal breaker for me personally. Yeah. She fired a gun into somebody's chest. Things on fire. I'm going Kane. One for Kane. I'm also gonna go Kane. Uh, Janice is super annoying for sure. Uh, like Clemmer said, intentionally annoying. But uh, Kane's gonna burn the place down. Like there is, it, he's. It's not a matter of. If it's a matter of when with Kane, I think part of it in my brain is like Kane might just kill you, and that's one thing. Like I think Janice might Janice might nag you to death, manipulate you into doing something that will put you in jail for life. Yeah, Janice will ruin your yeah. life. Yeah, she'll yeah. Kane ruin your will life. set you on fire. But that's gonna ruin my life as well. Not I don't just think things, as bad as yeah. what Janice could do. The psychological Jeez. damage, Janice. Yeah. Would. Like I'm thinking, I'm gonna burn to death. Yeah, I'm yeah. thinking that. That's what I'm thinking. I don't want. That. I don't want that. Yeah, I can deal with a. a I'd rather get woman. nagged than yeah. burned mm. to death. Rudy. Yeah, I'm with Tommy. Unfortunately, I have not seen The Sopranos yet either. I know it's an issue. I don't know much about wrestling, so this is a rough one for me. But my hunch tells me that Janice is someone that hypothetically could be molded, fixed. <laughs> I could fix her, oh, maybe. Boy. Oh, you would think. You oh would, no! You would really think? Yeah. yeah. No. <laughs> but. Compared to what I'm hearing about Kane, that doesn't seem like someone who is much of a talker, someone who you can find middle ground on. So I'm going to go with Kane because it seems like he's pretty set in his ways. Probably doesn't speak until how far into his career? He, like actually, like uh, Chase years, said, right? there's a couple years where he didn't, but then he got like a voice box and he would mm. speak like maybe a word or a sentence at a time. And then when he unmaxed, he yeah. eventually became like full on talking. Yeah. Corporate uh, Kane. Jay. 
Yeah, same with Rudy. I've actually never seen The Sopranos, so wow. uh, is it rough we're going to get killed on yeah, this. Well deserved. I mean, Jay, I mean, Jersey someone guy named too. Janice I just watched it, being the number one seed over the Kool Aid Man is uh, <laughs> beyond me. <laughs> but um, for similar reasons as the Kool Aid Man, like Kane, like uh, like everyone said, can light your stuff on fire. Okay, so Kane getting the vote from Steve J. Blutman. I think it's kind of pathetic that this many people here haven't seen The Sopranos. Thank you, Blutman. I I also haven't seen it though. <laughs> <laughs> So that's not great. What a setup. <laughs> the, yeah, this Janice lady does not seem fun to deal with. But I've come to this kind of thought where she could try and annoy me and manipulate all she wants. I'm not going to budge. I'm a stubborn guy. At some point, she's going to be gang annoyed. And she's going to manipulate her own self into moving out and going on and going to, to, to do it to someone else, a reclamation project, because she couldn't figure me out. Ooh. So I, I essentially, I've won. And now I'll get a, a better roommate. So, yeah. So you're going to go so with, Kane's I guess, Kane? One? Yeah. Yeah, correct. Yeah, I could deal with fire. That happens all the time at apartments. <laughs> That's fair. They get put out. So wait, no, it sounds like is, he's on wait, Janice's wait, side. Wait, which one is the worst one? Who's the worst one? Which, one? which who would you least want to be your roommate? Kane's the worst one. Yeah, oh, okay. I see what I did. Yeah. You, <laughs> you, said, you ba- pretty much said that you'd dunk on them both. I see, I see what I did. You yeah. did. It wasn't great you there. You said in that uh, situation, yeah, we'll go with I would Kane. be the worst roommate. Sticking with Kane. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, Kane. Sticking with Kane there. Uh, before we get to the second half of the bracket, let's talk about better help. Common misconception about relationships is that they have to be easy to be right, but sometimes the best ones happen when both people put in the work to make them great. Therapy can be a great place to work through the challenges that you face in all of your relationships, whether friends, work, your significant other, or anyone. Uh, if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched up with a licensed therapist or switch therapist at any time for no additional charge. Uh, I used them over COVID so I didn't have to go to an actual physical office. So much handier than having to go into physically anywhere, which is always a pain in the ass waiting times in a room blah, blah 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 all that shit sucks getting to do it all over video is awesome uh so go be your own soulmate whether you're looking at a for one or not visit betterhelp.com slash lights today and get 10 percent off your first month that's betterhelp h-e-l-p.com slash lights all right now other side of the bracket number six seed versus the 11 seed the six seeds uh, it's a powerhouse pick jar jar binks oh <laughs> Jar Jar Binks would be a tough roommate. Um, are we all familiar with who Jar Jar Binks is? Not Star Wars, but I'm not familiar. Yeah, imagine an anthropomorphic. Star Wars movies? No. Wow. You never seen Star Wars? No. Wow. Imagine a half frog, half man klutz that's also Jamaican. <laughs> imagine you as a Jamaican. Imagine you as a Jamaican, Tom. Yeah, I gotta Actually, be honest. I yeah. like Jar Jar. What? Yeah, I'm he kinda, looks I kind of well, like, grew up with him. I was a kid, you know. Oh, like, I kind of fuck with Jar Jar too. Yeah. He looks cool just looking at him. I wouldn't call him cool. He's pretty sweet. I mean, he when he does get a Senate seat, he does kind of like put into power <laughs> Space Hitler. Which yeah, he is does. Bad. Which is bad. That's bad stuff. But he's kind of a chill guy. And he's what? Going to- he's so annoying. Not, it, we all watched it as kids. That's it's like thing, it's such a different yeah, experience. Like, oh, it's like you and Cher, the I other ones that got him more. He like ruined old, him, him stepping in the doo doo. I thought was the funniest thing I've oh. ever seen. Mm-hmm. Going like. Puku Nada or something like that. Yeah. It's just some goofy. Yeah. I forget what. And that's going up against the number 11 seed, Pigpen from Charlie Brown. Just a disgusting oh. little creature. Oh, gross. Nasty yeah. little freak. So, Blutman, you're up first. Which one do you think would be a worse roommate, Jar Jar Banks or Pigpen from Charlie Brown? I've seen maybe 12 seconds of Star Wars. Um, I'm going to go with Pigpen. This guy's extremely dirty. I recall that. The place is going to get dirty. You're going to need a to get the place cleaned probably daily that's a hassle that's annoying that's money out of my pocket because of this little kid that's just bringing and dragging his dirt everywhere we don't need to deal with that it won for I got better things to do he is a nasty little freak why is he so dis- yeah i was thinking that what's disgusting. wrong with his parents i don't even think it's the dirtiness it's more like the how do you explain to people like my roommate's a seven-year-old boy <laughs> <laughs> that's a great point that's gonna raise some eyebrows <laughs> oh, that's my fucking roommate. He, looks like the, he looks like the meth kid from breaking bad yeah. like yeah. constantly just like dirt all over his oh face. that kid would be an awful roommate that's kind of pig yeah. Pen, pig pen, yeah. yeah and even has like a dirt cloud following yeah. him. it's like a constant yeah. vortex going like, around him. You can't be having that. Yeah, that's bad news. Che. 
yeah, I think Tommy hit it on the head. You can't have a little kid roommate <laughs> as an adult. I mean, even myself with two kids, like, I'm not trying to have another kid in the house. That'd be awful. Um, so definitely would not want pig pen. Anyway. Jay introduced new kids. Like, here's our roommate. <laughs> uh, Rudy. Yeah, I do not like pig pen. When I was a kid, he gave me the heebie jeebies. There's something about his like animation style that really was off putting to me. And I couldn't really watch Charlie Brown because of it. Um, and I, I fuck with Jar Jar Binks. I'm in the same boat as Robbie. I grew up with Jar Jar Binks. Uh, people hate him. I love him. That's crazy. You follow me. I mean, you should I, follow Misa now. Okay. I, I understand all of your points. It's just wild to hear that perspective because it's like. Can let me propose something? Because I thought about this when I would put in Jar Jar. Would Bo- I think Boss and Ass would be worse? Oh yeah, because he's constantly going. <laughs> he does that thing, oh, and he's yeah. way larger. <laughs> yeah. And he's and he's very mean. Very, he's a dick. very he's a total mean. dick. At least Jar Jar's like, how can I help you? Like, yeah, I owe yeah. you a life debt forever, for all time. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, he's much better than Boss Nass. I think it's easy uh, pig pen answer here. Easy I, I would love pen. to be roommates with Jar Jar. Another one for pig pen, Tommy. Yeah, I'm no Pete Rose. <laughs> he's a pig pen. <laughs> You're kind uh, of dressed. Like... Know, if that made the cut, uh, that if that didn't <laughs> it make did the not cut, make the cut, I can tell you that right that's now. That's confusing. But we made a Pete Rose. Clemmer brought up a Pete Rose point earlier. Yeah, do, he's, go look up Pete Rose's wiki if you want to see Pete, down the right. Scroll down to controversies. Brought up yeah. a Pete, yeah. and then yeah. scroll past the baseball stuff. But yeah, yes. I'm not rooming with a six year old boy. If you had a cloud of dust around you right now, you could pass for like a pig penish type of fit right now. Mm. Yeah. Damn, that's mm-hmm. I don't think pig pen has scotch and soda bro- jeans. He had brownish, a kind of a brownish vibe going on. Pants are gray. Gray on it's that's like a that's a pig that? pen shirt. It's a pig pen shirt. Right, More than the jeans. From Abercrombie and Fitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Clemmer. Yeah, I, I hate Jar Jar. I think anyone, I guess maybe thirty five or or older, also hates Jar Jar. But pig pen is just disgusting and horrible, horrible, horrible. And the fact that he makes no effort to clean himself up. Yeah. No, like he's never once tried to better himself. Fuck pig. He's he's too young. It's on the parents. Yeah, I agree. parents are really. Oh, parents are awful. Yeah. Awful. Uh, Dyfus, call them on. Yeah. Pigpen's parents. Pigpen is going to move on. Next match was the three versus the 14. The three seed is, and this is a, kind of similar to the um, uh, De Chanel sort of area, Ted Mosby. Another one where it's the lead yeah. character of a sitcom where everyone around him is very, very good. He is just kind of an annoying, whiny person uh, just as a character. And that's going up against the number 14 seed. We'll, we'll do a little mini plan here. Do we want young or old Sheldon? <laughs> oh, I think young is worse, to be honest. The, I, I agree. I would say young is worse. And again, the kid roommate comes into effect. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't know. Do we want to do the kid roommate thing again? I think old... Ch- I, He's a different level of bad from the kid. So if we take the kid... I'm, out, I'm just more familiar with old Sheldon, but I can imagine what young Sheldon's like. Yeah. I've only I, seen either Sheldon in commercials. I've no, I mean, I've maybe watched five same. minutes of Big Bang Theory. Like, I, I've watched Big Bang Theory. I could watch it. I'm kind of with Trent on that. I, I don't think it's as bad as people say. Let's do Big Sheldon. I turn young Sheldon off the second it comes on my television. Kid? It comes on after Monday Night Raw a lot of nights. And, it, like, I, I have to find the remote and turn it off. It's like nails on a chalkboard. I feel like for graphic purposes, older Sheldon makes more. I feel like he's just more. I don't know. Actually, graphic purposes, young people love dunking on young Sheldon. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so let's do let's do young Sheldon. Uh, young Sheldon versus Ted Mosby. Start with you, Clemmer. So like Ted Mosby does kind of suck. But like for instance, like Ross from Friends is way worse and way whinier. Like I don't think Ted in the scheme of like sitcom characters, Ted Mosby isn't that horrible. Where um, young Sheldon or old Sheldon, any Sheldon is horrific. I went to a high, I went to high school with a kid named Sheldon. I didn't like him either. Young Sheldon uh, stinks. <laughs> He's annoying. He stinks, and that show looks horrible. Every commercial I've seen it was horrible. It's I ending. don't. Oh, thank God. So <laughs> CBS will put something else. They are they're making another old Sheldon. Infant they making, Sheldon. <laughs> they're making a, I think a show about the parents when they grew up. The parents of young Sheldon. Are you shit? Is that uh, no? You I'm almost know. positive. I'm almost positive. Oh, come on. <laughs> He's I'm going to keep going back. Even younger. <laughs> no, he's not even born yet. It's yeah, he, just he, them. He, he, they'll zoom in on like the sperm cell at in the end ball, of the series yeah. finale. Sperm mm-hmm. Sheldon. Yeah. <laughs> sperm <laughs> so one for young, Sh- or yeah. young Sheldon. Tommy? This is easiest blowout. Uh, definitely young Sheldon. Ted Mosby, I've seen somehow. I met your mother. I get he's annoying, mopey. There's definitely a world where I could be roommates with Ted Mosby. Like yeah. in New York City. Yes. Like a single guy. Like, yeah, maybe he's a little bit annoying, but he... he Certainly would be a better roommate than like a ten year old little I feel boy like genius. Ted Mosby's better than every single name we've heard so far. Easily in this show, this Easily. might be. Yeah. I think the thing is more like, he, and this is kind of again, it goes back to the new girl thing, where it's just when they are oh, the main character and they yes. suck compared to everybody else, they do they do look way worse than they actually. I mean, are. Ted though, Ted's a pussy hound, so me and him could go it makes out no the sense. town together. 
the, the way he gets the hottest girls out of every sitcom character maybe ever and like he is just the most annoying piece of shit in the world and i think mean, you just hate ted mosby like you i know i know i feel like he's you re- but hated. you really hate him I think I hate him as much as anyone else huh? that regularly hates him. I don't think I hate him. So yeah, Young Sheldon, easy. Young uh, Sheldon. Yeah, I don't hate Ted Mosby that much. He's definitely annoying, but like, I, I could be roommates with him. Young Sheldon. Another for Young Sheldon. Rudy? Um, I cannot stand How I Met Your Mother. Oh. But um, I get that people like it. Ted Mosby is probably pretty tolerable from what I've seen. Young Sheldon is, is brutal, but I'm going to go with Young Sheldon as being the better roommate. Oh. Because... Maybe we get a little bit of a situation where I'm like the Sean William Scott and I can mold this young man and we can become buddies and grown-ups. That's what I'm feeling. I just don't like How I Met Your Mother. I know people like it. That's all cool. That was role models. Wait, what did I say? Role models, excuse me. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, Movie card revoked. Oops. (laughs) AMC Stumpless passed revoked. Uh, (laughs) I think that show is just so... Just give me Young Sheldon. That show is legend. Wait for it. Dairy. Oh, <laughs> forgot about that. <laughs> Lawyered. Who's a lot of who slogans on that? Show. Um, Neil Patrick Harris. Barney. Yeah. Oh god, that Barney's show got a lot so of catchphrases. Fucking bad. <laughs> uh, show is so bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with the 12 year old. That, that would be very fun. <laughs> go with the 12 year old. Yeah. Put. Can we get that can on a quote yeah, card? Quote I that saw. That 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 I'm gonna go with the 12 year old. Well, Bill Clinton. Yes, I will take him. Is there an angle here where Sheldon could make us a lot of money because he's our roommate and he's mm. a genius? That's is a, there I an angle there where but he can make us money? He doesn't make his parents money. Isn't he, aren't they pretty poor? He's like average middle class. Maybe least? they just don't know how to utilize know. him. Yeah. Yeah, maybe they don't know how to utilize the, uh, the brain, the skill set. Mm-hmm. So there, there's a potential there for a get-rich-quick scheme. Maybe if it was years ago and he tells you invest in Bitcoin – that would have paid off big time. Yeah. So I'm a. Who was the other one we were up against? Ted oh, Mosby. Ted Mosby. I'd say he's worse because I, I like this get rich quick thing. Yeah. I like it. I do think it's important. I don't think he's a fortune teller. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but isn't he a but, genius? Yeah, he's yeah, he a genius. A genius. He let, yeah. let, let's interpret this. So Young Sheldon's going to move on. Next up, we have the seven versus the ten. The seven seed is Skylar White. <laughs> Skylar White well, is also that's maybe the most submitted option out of the entire thing. People hate as far as fictional characters go. Skylar White, it's with intention. I think she's a pretty hateable character oh, throughout yeah. the most Breaking Bad. Uh, and that's Carl the number ten scene. Just the hunchback of Notre Dame, the oh. dis- disgusting, decrepit man that lives up in the bowels of the t- Notre Dame mean. Cathedral. Which You're is bullying the hunchback since, with this intro. Hey, he's a homeless freak. He literally has no home anymore. A uh, homeless little freak. What am I, <laughs> what's he gonna do? Uh, going up against Skylar White. So. <laughs> The hunchback of Notre Dame. He is a home. He's a squatter. Well, the, no, Notre it Dame's down. gone. Oh, this guy, what? he's he's cute. He's what do you mean, what do you mean Notre Dame's gone? Isn't he a cartoon? No, Notre Dame you burned down. You had to look up the hunchback of Notre Dame? It's I still did. there. That's crazy. It burned down. It's you like half know. burned down. You can't live there I know anymore. who he is when I saw it. it didn't no, but you, what, what do you think that when you first open, heard bro. it? I was thinking an older guy. It's in his name. Like He's the hunchback. Hunchback of Notre Dame. Who's the guy that tells the future? Qua- uh, like Qua- Zoltar or whatever. No. That Nostradamus? Nostradamus? Nostradamus. Nostradamus. <laughs> so because it's no- Notre Dame, you thought that was Nostradamus. I had, I had a little bit of a that's brain. Dumb as fuck. I had a brain. That was fuck. really dumb. Yeah, that's, that's really stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so angry. Yeah, I had a brain. I'll help, fart. You out. I'll, I'll help you out, Tommy. Clemmer, your shoes are obnoxiously big. No, they're awesome. Yeah. Ooh, These are Seattle Supersonics uh, shoes. I thought they, they looked like those Green are, Bay those Packers. Are, those shoes. are Seattle Super Continents, dude. Ooh. Oh, oh. Ooh. You know, sorry, I, sorry, I have big feet. You know, you know what they say. <laughs> sorry, I just was helping out my big boy sucks. Tommy. I, I, yeah, I'm just helping Thank out my boy. You. Uh, so Skylar White versus the Hunchback in Notre Dame, Blutman. I've um, a lot of my Breaking Bad knowledge just comes from. Being in group chats of, of friends who are fans of the show. What have you slandering. watched? Have you watched anything? Sports. Tennis. Sports. It's a sports mo- freak. College I've watched shows. College football. But not, not, I mean, the league came up. Oh, uh, right. Garfield came up. It's true. It, <laughs> I'm sure I saw Caillou back in the day for a minute. But uh, Skylar, I've heard lots of bad things about. And I'll let you guys all... Uh, figure this one out. But I'll vote for her as the worst one because I've heard again a lot of bad things. One for Skylar White, Jay. 
I got to go the hunchback of Notre Dame. I mean, he's ringing bells. Uh, he's <laughs> disgusting to look at. Um, very dirty. Skyler White, just put a pool in. You'll be good in a couple weeks. Mm, that's a good point, <laughs> Rudy. Mm. So Skylar White, the funny thing about Skylar White to me is that uh, people dog on her because she was a little bit annoying because her husband became a drug kingpin murderer. It's a fact. Uh, having said that, she still manages to be remarkably annoying and is awful. Hunchback in Notre Dame is a misunderstood figure. He's, uh, w- he's basically a ward of the state that just needs a helping hand. So Skylar White's far worse. I'm more, sympathetic towards the Hunchback of Notre Dame. More two for Skylar White, one for the Hunchback. Easy Skylar White for me. I, Rudy brought up that this is now becoming like a counter narrative. People are saying like, everyone's hating on Skylar while her husband did this, 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 this. Shut up. Skylar White is so fucking annoying. It's Skylar White. <laughs> yeah. It really is. Yeah. She's somehow so annoying that she overcomes the advantage of having a brutally evil husband. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. also was an accessory. Skylar sucks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was an accessory. Like she laundered the, money for him. Like she's a she's a all fraud. The Ted stuff, she sucks. Everything with, with Ted. Ted. Oh, the Ted. She yeah. fucked Ted. Yeah. She yeah. Fuck Ted. Fuck Skylar. Did you fuck Ted? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I will say, I think she would be a way worse wife than a roommate. Like yeah. as a roommate, maybe she cooks and cleans. <laughs> oh, Jesus. like i don't know if like i'm not cooking meth but like she'd be annoying for sure but i don't as opposed to what she did as a wife i mean she did that as a wife what she but, did like, that as a wife did what as a wife like cooked and cleaned yeah exactly that's the benefits but like i don't have to work like she can fuck ted all she wants if she's just my roommate you know what i mean like a lot of oh, things gotcha, that made gotcha. her a bad wife i don't think would make her a bad roommate that being Fair. said uh she's never funny i feel bad I mean, I don't need, you know, I a roommate can just be plain. You can just tolerate them. Yeah. I, I've only had one roommate in, in my life, and he was my best friend, so, like, we'd hang out. So I, I've never had, like, a roommate of, like, a stranger, so I always wonder what that relationship was like. Mm. I never, I mean, in college, I guess, but oh, yeah, college, like I guess a year. But, but even then, I kind of knew the guys. Yeah. Uh, no, I mean, I, I, I like being, I like having roommates that I'm friends with, but I, you could theoretically have a, a bland roommate. And, yeah, and I guess. live. But I feel bad for the hunchback, so I'm going Skylar White is worse. Yeah, another for Skylar White. Yeah, hunch- I've met I've met Tommy's roommate. Very nice guy. They look like a beautiful gay couple. Do you really? I was when they're together. Yeah, well, it's not like they we live together in the West Village or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice guy though. Skylar. Uh, Skylar is worse. Yeah, hunchback is is a is a good man. Yeah. And he yeah he's homeless, but he's still working. He's tr- still ringing those bells. He's doing the best he can. Like, I, I respect man. the hell out of Hunchback. Skylar sucks. He, like, delivers that the hot girl to the hot guy, basically. Oh, like, did, he's in love with the girl. Esmeralda, right? <laughs> yeah, it's he's a like Disney in, movie, right? Yeah. It's a cartoon. Yeah, I've never seen it. He's, like, in love with her, but then, like, she d- ditches him for the hot guy in the movie instead. And he's like, yeah, that's great. Quasimodo is. So maybe he's a good wingman. I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah. I imagine he is. Yeah. He's a good guy. Uh, so Skylar White's going to move on. Number two seed versus the 15 seed. A 15 seed's another Breaking Bad one. Walt Jr. suggested a lot. Oh. People hate Walt Jr. Poor guy is MS. I don't <laughs> yeah, fucking get I know. That's it. Kind of mean, I guess you have to take care of him. <laughs> yeah, people would hate his guts. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. Uh, versus number two seed, Brendan Fraser's character in The Whale. So oh. the 800-pound oh. I haven't seen it, but I know he's a gross fat Yeah, he's an yeah. 800-pound <laughs> sweaty man that you open up the movie on him cranking one out to gay porn. So, like, that's just the cup of You know, as with. soon as I heard the movie opened with him cranking one out, I decided I didn't have to see it. <laughs> I that's did fair. the same exact yeah. thing. I was like, I don't want to watch the <laughs> fucking... I, that's, I don't want to watch I'm this. all set. Yeah. yeah. So, Brendan Fraser in The Whale versus Walt Jr. Clemmer. Never seen The Whale. Um, Walt Jr. is annoying, but I think he means well. I don't know The Whale. Uh, I know he's... Uh, 800-pound yeah. man. He, it jerks off a lot. It's got to be a smell going on there. And he works from home. Oh, so, so he's always teacher. there? As a teacher. Oh, I'm going to go with that. That that work from home thing right alone is a... Yeah, the Brendan Fraser character. And he world. orders so much food and throws... Well, working from home, way. he never goes away. That's got to be annoying as, mm-hmm. a, as a roommate. One for Brendan Fraser and the whale. Yeah, easily the whale is worse. Just being a fat, disgusting pig like that and being there all the time, Ugh. jerking off. It doesn't even matter what type of porn. <laughs> but... You know, it's gay porn. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll go with him. Robbie? It's got to be Brendan Fraser, the whale. He, he's coming in literally similar to the Kool-Aid man. I, I imagine they're similar size. And mm-hmm. just, yeah, he, he could probably decimate a wall if he wanted to. Absolutely. Three for Brendan Fraser and the whale. Rudy? Yeah, I'm not going to pick. 
I'm not going to pick. What's the kids from Breaking Bad's Walt name? Jr. Walt Jr. Walt Jr. Well, I'm not going to pick Walt Jr. <laughs> That's just so mean. <laughs> and he and he comes around. He's annoying in the beginning, but he kind of yeah. comes around yeah. and is like becomes a bit of a man. Uh, Brendan Fraser is the whale, as your roommate is a liability, especially if you're on, not on ground level. Yeah. Oh um, yeah. You you you're worrying like you you're running the risk of like moving tectonic plates if he falls through. So it's got to be Brendan Fraser. Brendan Fraser, Jay. Walt Jr. is a Gap model, so like that guy is gonna be bringing over loads of women. <laughs> Brendan Fraser in the way busting whale loads to men is yes almost a thousand pounds eats eggplant parm full subs in 30 seconds that guy is absolutely not what you want to bring uh a potential woman back uh to to discover uh yikes it, i mean it, i think brandon fraser in the whale could make a long run he is disgusting <laughs> <laughs> bloodman couldn't have said it better myself, Che. Uh, I thought maybe the one upside here was the whale orders so much food that he'll just let you get he dinner as well. But <laughs> then I hear that, and I hear it's eggplant parms that are being ordered. No brainer. He'd be the worst. Mm -hmm. Definitely. At least the, he's trying to be healthy with the eggplant. Yeah, the smell in there would be. The parm and the oh, bread. The smell. Vile. Ooh, the oh. smell would be bad. Real bad. And the sh I don't know how the bathing situation works with that either. Uh, I don't even he, want to think about it. He turns it. off his bedroom light with like uh, some type of like hockey stick. Yeah, it was right? like one of those like <laughs> poker things. Yeah, Ugh, gross. Yeah. rough. <laughs> Everything about it's gross. Uh, before we get into the playoffs, let's talk to about uh, Ibotta. Grocery bills are so expensive these days, but now they don't have to be. Start getting cash back in your grocery shopping with the free Ibotta app and get cash back every time you shop. Ibotta is the free app that gives you the most cash back every time you shop on hundreds of items from groceries to beauty supplies to toys. So you can make sure you're beating inflation no matter what you're purchasing. The average Ibotta user earns 256 bucks a year. That could cover the cost of an entire shopping trip so that you can buy that flight you've been eyeing, you can that game you've been dying to go to, the fancy dinner that you've been craving, anything like that. Other apps give you points that don't amount to much, but with Ibotta, you just add your offers to the app, upload the, upload the receipt, and you get real cash that you can cash in your bank account, base, uh, PayPal, or gift cards. Join one of the 50 million users today that earn cash back every time they shop with from over 2,700 brands and retailers, including Lowe's, Macy's, Sephora, Best Buy, and more. Right now, Ibotta is offering our listeners five bucks just for trying the Ibotta app by even using the code bracket when they register. So go to the App Store or go to Google Play Store and download the free Ibotta app and start earning cash when you use the code bracket. That's I-B-O-T-T-A in the Google Play or App Store and use code bracket. Thank you to Ibotta. All right, playoff time. The Kool-Aid Man versus the Hulk. Two options that we did say were pretty similar to each other. Oh. Kool-Aid Man versus the Hulk. Red versus green. Blutman. I would I, I I could I do not want the Kool-Aid man anywhere in my vicinity. <laughs> that's a quote cool card. That's a quote cool card. It's a fair point. That's a, that's a, I'm gonna have just the, the best picture of Blutman on a quote cool card is yeah. I do not want the Kool-Aid man anywhere in my vicinity. Yeah. He's a restraining order against him. Yeah. <laughs> Jay. Yeah, I mean, the Hulk is Bruce Banner at least some of the time. Right. The Kool-Aid Man is the Kool-Aid Man all of the time and destroys walls every chance. I mean, if this guy's going to the bathroom, your bathroom's toast. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, Kool-Aid. I wonder how he does go to the bathroom. Does he piss straight Kool-Aid? Into himself or? No, not into himself. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he, it's gross. waste. It's still, it's still his waste. <laughs> I mean, uh, well, he doesn't intake anything, so what waste could he have? And how, we don't know that. But yeah, how could he? How could he get rid of any of the liquid inside of him? That's his blood. He doesn't have a. He doesn't have a, a spout. spout from the top. You, like, you think that's how he goes to the bit? bathroom? So he he gives like, maybe, fucking... maybe he like swishes and like a, some falls out. Maybe all the that's bile gross. floats to the top. <laughs> that's gross. And then he just tips over. Yeah. The biology of the Kool Aid Man is fascinating. Yeah, uh, mm -hmm. Rudy. The Kool-Aid man could drive you to psychosis strictly off the fact that he's a one-trick pony. That catchphrase on top <laughs> of the breaking the walls would drive him any man insane after a week. The Hulk does destroy is awful, but at least he has dimension and can speak in sentences and come up with new phrases. For that alone, it, the Kool-Aid man is far worse. Three for the Kool-Aid man. It's going to be four for the Kool-Aid man. Everything they said and also... There's something about the Hulk that's kind of cool where you're like, oh, you want to come over to my place? Fucking the Hulk's there. The Kool-Aid mm -hmm. man, that's not a draw at all. No? 
If I you, think that's a drone. If no. you told me you, <laughs> no. nothing, yeah. if you Dude, I'm with yeah, Robbie. Or the I would, Kool-Aid I, with the like, Kool-Aid I would, I would want to see him. I don't want to see like, him once. I got to check that but, out. All right, let's say there's two guys at the bar, and one's like, I live with the Hulk, and one's like, I live with the Kool-Aid man. I go, you're Hulk. going home with the guy with the Hulk. Actually, I'm <laughs> <laughs> going home with that guy. No, yeah. I'm not. <laughs> well, I'm, not. I'm going to the uh, Kool-Aid man, because I don't know if I'm going to go home, and it's Bruce Banner. And I'm like, all right, this guy's boring. That would be a bummer. But you said the Hulk, not Bruce Banner. Yeah, but we know how that works. Tell you what, you show up and you're like, ah, it's fucking Bruce Banner. It's got piss him pisses off. him off yeah. enough to turn yeah. to the Hulk like that. That's true. Yeah, just give him like a give him like a titty twister and then bang. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> yeah. Uh Tommy? Um again, I think we're a little bit downplaying the Hulk here. Because at least like <laughs> the Kool-Aid man means well for the most part. How do you know that? I don't know I, if he does. He doesn't mean anything. But like we there's not like, you know, a lot of the material no, we have on him is not him. Killing people. What does he it's mean? Him no, he, fucking, he provides people he's refreshments. Fucking, he he smashes in to like help people get if they're thirsty. He's, yeah, he's pushing. He's his, trying. The it's yeah, not a very effective. He's more thing. of a do-gooder than the Hulk. No, he's, no, he's, a, he's no. a shill. What? The Hulk? Yeah, the Hulk he's fights an crime. Man. Literally, the Hulk save doesn't the world. fight crime. The he Hulk does fight whatever crime. people tell him. He'll fight whoever. He's an idiot. The Hulk is an idiot. I don't think he's as dumb he's as you say. He's not always an idiot. He's not that dumb. He is an idiot he's sometimes. He's not an idiot. Sometimes he's an idiot. He's yeah. always fighting Thor. I, and hate, I love not, Thor. <laughs> that happened <laughs> once. I'd argue Twice. in the grand scheme of things from what we've seen Twice. in Hulk in the MCU, he's done more damage and been on the wrong side no. almost as I long. agree. And I'm basically he maybe saved more... saved the galaxy like Hulk, twice. And Hulk... And Ragnarok, he had spent like five years just killing aliens on Sakaar. Well, right? he was stuck as the Hulk in the Avengers. He, he yeah, saved Tony Stark's Hulk. life. That's in, still the Hulk. In, in Infinity War, he fucking fights Thanos when and nobody in, else and will. And in Civil War, they take over his mind and he blows up all of Africa. That's bad. That's not. Good. That's not good. No, that's not good. But and that's, that's the Hulk. Yeah, but that's, compared, that's Winter compared Soldier, to the Kool Aid Man, no, I know. Yeah, sorry, Winter. No, it's because it's re- the Hulk isn't in Civil War. Scar- when was it? Which one is it? Where Scarlet Witch takes over? It's civil. It is Civil War, isn't it? Scarlet Witch takes over. In, no, Hulk ain't in that movie. He's Hulk's in Civil War. He ain't. Not, wait, when, he's which on one? Sakar. Which one does he take over his mind? Uh, Scarlet Witch. Scarlet Witch takes over the oh in in uh, Age of Ultron. Age of Ultron, that's it. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, but she, she either way, that's all the Hulk. The Hulk can do way more. Well, that's bad. manipulation if she takes over his that's mind. Mind control. That's not his that's, fault. That's, what if she does it while he's at your house? That's not fair. That's what do you mean? That's not fair. That ain't fair. All right, I I don't know though. I think the Hulk because the Hulk can also like threaten you, like. Like he he maybe he he makes a mess and then he says clean it up or otherwise I'm turning into the Hulk and I'm gonna beat the shit out of you. That's not like <laughs> Bruce Banner. I don't though. think he. Oh yeah, he Bruce Banner wouldn't do that. He Bruce could Banner if he really wants his yeah, dishes I think you could bully Bruce Banner. Yeah, Bruce Banner's kind of a pussy. Yeah. I mean, I guess I would just hope me and Bruce Banner get along really well. Hey, but, all right, I'll go Kool Aid Man, but I don't feel good about it. Kool Aid Man, Clemmer. Yeah, Kool Aid Man. It's uh. Because like like exactly what Chase said, he's Kool Aid Man all the time. That's too much, and that's yeah. like Rudy said. That saying would just be awful. <laughs> it's mm-hmm. Hulk Smash is also a saying though. Oh, oh but all he all says time. is, all "Oh yeah, yeah, yeah." yeah he, I know. He's just say saying shit. Not everyone's saying free here. That's all I'm pointing. Yeah. Out. Like you would literally, if someone else like at work said, "Oh yeah," you would have like PTSD. Yeah, you'd be like, "Oh fuck, something's gonna break." It would like it would mm. really play a toll in your Bad mind. I did a lot of damage there for sure. Uh, Kane versus the Jared Leto Joker. <laughs> Oh, this should be a... Oh, uh, this is Jared Leto Joker for me. I mean, he's a murderer. <laughs> I mean, I also don't really... I'm not that familiar with Kane, I will say. Kane did try to murder his whole family, and that's how he got burned up in the first place. He set fire so to his house with The Undertaker in it. Is mm-hmm. Kane Chris Benoit? No, no, no. no, 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 no. Oh, no. okay. No. All right. This isn't a real life. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, that, right. that was... Uh, what do they call it? Life imitates art? Yeah. Yeah, the yeah there you go. So, every, uh, everyone has an origin story. Yeah. Tommy. Uh, Joker. Easy. Two for Joker. Easy Joker. Easy win for Joker, Rudy. It's the it's yeah, it's a Joker. Jared Leto is gonna make a run here, Che. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Joker. Killing's worse than tombstoning. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Blumen. Yeah, sure. The Joker. The Joker versus the Kool Aid Man. <laughs> Matchup, Eddie. It's been debated for Hell centuries. Old as time. <laughs> I need that in a comic book. Yeah. yeah. So the Joker versus Kool Aid Man, Blumen. Which one do you think would be worse roommate? Imagine trying to order dinner and asking the Kool Aid man what he wants to eat. And he could only say two words. <laughs> and he could be so unhappy when the food arrives. That takes a toll on you, too. But you wouldn't like, know he's unhappy because Kool-Aid- he would just be like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You you could feel that something could be off. Yeah, the that tone night. of the oh, yeah. And you don't, 
mm-hmm. and you don't, you can't even imagine what's gonna happen that <laughs> night. But, but it, like, ima- what? What if he gets a stomach ache? And, and, and he, a stomach. I don't know if he has a stomach. Yeah. yeah. What if he gets the runs? Yeah, that'd be bad. That's true. a nightmare waiting to happen. The Kool Aid Man is so bad. He does raise a good point though, like communication. Like, hey, Kool Aid Man, did you sit Venmo me the rent money? Oh yeah, like <laughs> yeah, fucked. Like, yeah. 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 does no the Kool Aid Man really say nothing else? I've never, I've heard never him heard him say anything else. else. I think he he's like a Groot. Doesn't say anything else. What if he is like Groot, where if you talk to him enough, even though he's saying the same thing, you kind of understand him? It's good. I think that's a possibility, right? Yeah, maybe he mm. can write. Oh, true. I don't wish to arms. know him long enough to get to that point. <laughs> I agree. I agree with you on that one. You don't want him anywhere, anywhere near your facility or for, uh, in your vicinity. So nope. one for the Kool Aid Man, Che. Kool Aid Man by a mile, at least with the Joker, your walls will still be intact. Mm-hmm. Like Kool Aid Man, everything's coming down. I'm not sure your Kool-Aid organs Man. are intact with the Joker. I mean, your your organs basically might as well all not work if you're living with the Kool Aid Man because your life is over. It's funny to me to imagine that, like the Joker is chill with you, <laughs> <laughs> like he's wreaking yeah. havoc yeah. on Gotham, but he gets home and he's like, "You're fine." He's like, "You fucking read this blog? It's funny shit." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's like, "I just watched Tommy's thoughts on the way home from a massacre." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, he's right about that sell by date. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rudy. Yeah, it's tricky because thought, to be clear. I think the Kool-Aid man's far worse, <laughs> but I do th- the hard part about the Joker is I feel like one day he'd be cool with you and then the next morning you wake up and you're being like su- you're suspended from the ceiling being slowly lowered onto a bed of nails. Mm. Like the 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 propensity for hijinks and and torture is so much higher. But then you have to deal with the incessant torture of just a guy saying, "Oh yeah," and breaking through your walls. So this is tricky. Yeah. <laughs> um it's the Kool Aid Man's worse. I don't know why. It just he is, man. I just it's it would just get it would be so grating. Mm-hmm. That endless, oh yeah. <laughs> that one was a little like seductive. Yeah, that was, hit there. that was hot. Well, I was sort of thinking about. Do you think that the Kool Aid Man changes his pitch? Like you could start fucking with him and be like, oh, Kool Aid Man, are you a big fan of uh, genocide? And he's like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I think he could do that. Yeah. I don't think he can. I think he can frown. I want to say I've seen him frown. Whoa. When, when would you have seen Fuck the cool where? I feel like his... <laughs> what the hell did he do to the cool I, I wasn't me. It was watching television, you know? And uh, I feel like I've seen the cool man mouth, like, change proportions. I'm not finding anything on that. No? No. Did I just imagine I kind of picture all, him like, just art. one cadence, like, the true, most true form of a one-trick pony. Yeah, some guy just drew this. That's not... That they're all, all the ones of him. That's, you think that's just official art of <laughs> as MS Paint? This made me happy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tommy, if you're if you're afraid of Ant Man catching you jerking off, think about being roommates with the Kool Aid Man. My I God, mean, I don't. I wouldn't ca- yeah, he, he, the Kool Aid Man can't sneak up on me yeah. and watch me jerk off. He just busts through your door. Yeah, and he it's can there. That's true. He, he does do that. Yeah. <laughs> that is his thing. Yeah. That's like one of the two things he does. Yeah, yeah. yeah I forgot about the other thing. Yeah. Uh, so another one for the Kool Aid Man, Robbie. <laughs> this one for me is like easy for the Joker. Because the Joker, like, may murder you. He may torture you. He it, There's so many variables with the Joker. Kool-Aid man, we know what to expect. We know, I guess, he could mean well. And also with the constant, oh, yes. I'm one of those people. I'm a little neurotic. We're like, are you mad at me, people? The Joker, you never know the right answer to that. Hmm. Like, is my roommate fucking pissed at me? At least with the Kool-Aid man, you're like, eh, he's always in a good mood. Plus, Batman knows where you live in a bad way. That's yeah, right. I was also worried about like as an accomplice. Like, yeah. imagine being like, yeah, I live, yeah, I lived with this guy. Like, the Joker comes back with blood I knew all it was over bad him. News. You just gotta stay quiet. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, because you don't want the Joker fucking flipping yeah. out at you. Yeah, yeah. Joker. I, I do f- like that in a movie where imagine if like the Batman shows up to your apartment and beats the brakes off you, and you're just like, dude, I'm just his roommate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just trying to save yeah. money on rent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I work in like, fintech. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're an you're an accomplice, and you're like, ah, dude, I was watching Netflix. I don't even know what that guy does. Forex trader. List. <laughs> <Yeah>. Who's logging? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Tommy? Yeah, I like Robbie's point. I'm going with the Joker is worse. The Kool Aid Man, while annoying, he means well. The other one is a serial killer who <laughs> could get you killed or in prison. 
So I'm going with the Joker. And he's a loot. We're forgetting that it's not just the Joker. It's the Jared Leto Joker. Yes. Yeah. Right. So he's, he's also, also a, a fucking loser. Like hanging around your apartment <laughs> or just live grenades at all times. Yeah. And fucking yeah. bazookas. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you don't want that. that he's got that, like he a, would definitely put beads over every doorway, too. Uh, yeah. He's got a posse of weirdos, too. Yeah, who signs a up A coterie of, of supervillains. Meek Phil's. Me- yeah. <laughs> oh my god, he should be on here. Yeah, <laughs> he feel really should be on here. Holy shit! I wouldn't mind Harley Quinn being around. If I'm being honest, I be think s- you yeah. would. If it's I've always had a soft Harley spot. Quick. It's Margot Robbie's. I've always had a soft spot for Harley Quinn Me too. Because you could fix she's her. hot. She would definitely s- try to seduce you at some point too, as a test. And yeah. if you fell mm-hmm. for it, then the Joker would kill you. Yep. So it'd be well, very. It's, cur- it's curtain curtains for Junda. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So it's three to two in favor of the Kool Aid Man, Clemmer. Yeah, it's a, it's look. Is it annoying having the Kool Aid Man smash the wall? Yes, but it's a controlled chaos. It's a controllable thing. He only does two things. You can so set you, your clock to it. Yeah, you know what he's going to do. Maybe you build like breakaway walls. You can at least kind of figure it out. The Joker is an agent of chaos to the mm-hmm. point of you don't know what he's going to do. That's the whole point of the Joker. You, you never. It's always the unexpected. I can't look like that. I would rather have the Kool Aid Man as a roommate than the Joker. We're three to three. Yeah, the Joker. The Joker would turn you into a human slinky somehow. Yeah, he yes. would, yeah. He'd he'd stretch would... you out like Laffy Taffy. Yeah, yeah. it would be bad. So we're tied up, Joker and Kool Aid Man. Uh, I'll tie break in favor of the Joker because I do think just genuinely that would be significantly worse in every way to be around. Uh, before we get to the other side, uh, let's hear from Zocdoc. And we are talking. I literally just used Octoc before Dude. we were recording. I booked a dermatologist and a dentist appointment. I love when we get these sponsors when it's ones that I used years mm-hmm. before we ever got them as a sponsor. I use Octoc forever, and they're so so handy. Uh, we all know that there are things in life you're trying to compromise on, but when it comes to your health, there is no compromise. Octoc is the free app and website where you can search and compare highly rated in network doctors and you and near you, and you can instantly book your appointments with them online. Once you find the doctor you want, you can book them immediately. No more waiting and awkwardly being on hold with receptionists and all these docs i have their verified reviews from actual real patients but i do i review all of them every time i do go on zocdoc and like i'm looking for a new doctor for something i look at all the reviews check the wait times check how good the good or bad the yeah. doctor was see which doctor they got used. everything dude it's amazing it's really helpful too if you move to a new place like yeah. when yeah. i moved back to new york I, I had to find new doctors so it was awesome like zocdoc is a super helpful resource it's one of those exactly. things where it's like how did that not exist a long time a yeah. way Forever long time ago one stop shop exactly and you filter your uh for those especially for the ones that take your insurance that are located near you treat basically every condition you're searching for typical wait time for see a doctor booked on zocdoc is between 24 and 72 hours that's it you can even score same day appointments i uh, use them all the time well before ever getting an ad with them uh again you, you put in your insurance card they tell you everything that's in network everything near you so easy so fast uh love them go to zocdoc.com slash lights and download the zocdoc app for free and then find and book a top rated doctor today that's zocdoc.com slash lights zocdoc.com slash lights thanks to zocdoc young sheldon versus pig pen battle of the children <laughs> of the wretched wow. children to, uh, on the other side of the bracket let's start with you clemmer i'd rather be around an annoying person than a dirty one or live with an do- annoying person than a dirty one. So I'm going to choose the worst roommate is Pigpen. The worst roommate is Pigpen, Tommy. Yeah, young Sheldon can be beneficial in a way. Maybe, you know, you have some intellectual conversations with him. Pigpen just stinks. And Literally. I don't want to... Sp- and, like, he can't help it. Like, you, you know, it's going to smell the whole apartment mm-hmm. all the time. So I'll go Pigpen. Two for Pigpen. I like Pigpen a lot more than I like Young Sheldon. I agree with as, that. As a person, but I can't live in that filth, so in, it'll have to be Pigpen. Although, yeah, you did live with Trent, who was very filthy. He was just a crumb guy. Crumbs were the only thing. He is a crummy guy. Yeah, yeah. but I'm, he's like Sonic. The, he's like Sonic the Hedgehog, except instead of coins, it's pieces of Ritz crackers. Yes. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was a lot of that. I don't like that attitude. Like, I'm just a crumb guy. Like, I, oh, I can't. Yeah. You don't like his attitude. Go tell him that. Right. I will. I, I would be like, yeah, dude, you get, gotta I'm clean gonna text shit up. right in here. Tell, tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. Yeah, yeah. I don't like. I don't like his attitude about crumbs. I don't. I'll tell him right to his face. He'll he'll probably not like that I outed him as a crumb guy. I think I've outed him. Because it's what it's like. I feel like I've heard that from you before. You got to be willing to change to be better yourself. And when you just when you just like, oh, I'm just I'm just a crumb guy. Yeah, it's not Trent. It's not Trent. Uh, Rudy? I I like to microdose mushrooms, and I can't have a 2D character in my apartment. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. So it's Pigpen. That's a great point. Uh, che? Yeah, I think Robbie hit it on the head. Both kids, so like, it's not a del- uh, determining factor in this. You got to go with the dirty one, so Pigpen. Pigpen, Blutman? 
Yeah, Pigpen. Imagine all the, uh, the you know, the bugs he'd be bringing to the place and all the other stuff that comes with mm-hmm. dirt. I don't want that. Imagine if Pigpen was your roommate during COVID. Oh, oh, gross. Imagine any of these, except for like Zoe Deschanel and maybe Ted Mosby, your roommate. Oh, I just meant like the actual. He will give you it because he's so dirty and oh, nasty. He's, yeah. he's picking up everything yeah. in his mind. But he also might have a crazy immune system because he's around dirt. That's I, all. That's a good wow, point. I don't really think about that. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Might have the best immune system in the world. Yeah. Uh, so on the other side, Brandon Fraser's big fat ass in the whale versus Skylar White, <laughs> Blutman. Oof. Yeah, uh, everything that we said about the whale still holds true, even though that was like 20 minutes ago. Yeah, that guy sounds like one of the worst people that, I don't know, one of the worst people on the planet. Yeah. One of the worst people on the <laughs> planet to be just, as your roommate. Jay. Yeah, that guy sounds awful. Yeah, I mean, Skylar White is annoying, but the whale is disgusting. <laughs> um, so, yeah, <laughs> that definitely the whale the whale's like the ant the polar the bizarro clumber just a giant mm-hmm. giant fat ass slob who can barely move corrects english papers hates baseball uh yeah, yeah fuck this guy yeah uh if you put him and clemmer in the same room it would like split a singularity <laughs> like, never been divorced hold. though the whale. yeah <laughs> true, true. his husband just died right he's, or something he's, uh, he's the antichrist you guys look like the number uh, 10 trent scott never mind next to each other uh off, off to make more crumbs i'm sure yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rudy uh, S- uh, S- uh, Skyler is remarkably annoying But the, the logistical aspect of the whale Is 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 too much to overcome I mean uh, you, you would have to get Like a civil engineer To make sure your apartment was reinforced with steel So no it had, The whale is far worse The whale Robbie Imagine being a human being Just a normal human being That gets big enough to be called The, <laughs> the whale, whale. That's, that's fair <laughs> The whale. The whale? Yeah, the whale. A lot of the stuff I said earlier about Skylar applies here. I don't know if she'd be the worst roommate in the world. This Fatties like that are just so depressing. <laughs> they are. They're, they're, they're just bad vibes. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, sound like Carl, you sound like Carl Lagenfeld right now, yeah. the fashion designer. Yeah. He had a famous quote where he said that, I cannot be around ugly people. They depress me. Yeah. <laughs> Clever. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's the whale. I, I'd I'd like to go back for a second. Imagine seeing a picture of Zoe Deschanel and be like, I do not want this person to be my roommate. I mean, it's I a crazy. Right, take. Let, let's even like. <laughs> I don't think you should want to fuck your roommate. Yeah, it's not about. It's just like we're talking about the whale. How gross it is. I think it'd be like I want to be able to control myself. That's why he advanced. <sighs> No, oh, I, 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 I suggested uh, Rogue for that very reason. Rogue from the X Men because she's hot, not. but literally, if she touches you, you're dead. Who, <laughs> who picked Zoe? Dish- was that it you? Was, no, not just no. Look at the, you go to the replies. But who who is it, who you're attributing that selection? To? I put I put that in. I think I, yeah, I think it would be Tommy's. That's, uh, you? I think she's annoying, and I I couldn't be temp. The te- she's a temptation. She's a temptress. <laughs> I understand that part. That's a fair. That's a, that's a fairer point. Uh, so the whale versus pig pen animal matchup Ooh. to go into the finals, Clemmer. I gotta go with pig pen. Uh, the whale is is gross for sure, but pig pen is gross. Also, child. Mm-hmm. Fair. fair. <laughs> yeah. Tommy. Well, you know, the downside for Big Ben is that he is a child and a cartoon. I'm <laughs> taking the car. I, I'm imagining him being a real life. Well, you know what I mean? Like, he's in our world. I oh, him no. Being. I think he's still a cartoon. <laughs> I okay. think he's a cartoon, but like the cartoon from the Peanuts movie they made recently where it's like kind of 2D, but kind of 3D. Mm. Like, he could turn, and he's not a piece of paper. Mm. I'm still going with Big Ben. I think the whale is going to smell, too. Yeah, oh, thing? Yeah, yeah, no shit, Tom. Right, well, I'm saying, like, that's the main knock on pig pen. Oh, also dirty. Dirty, yeah. The whale is filthy. Although, at least the pig pen sure goes the to whale school. Is filthy. Whale's always there. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Whale works from home. Yeah. Does not leave. Ugh. <sighs> he, he literally, like, hard. the whole I, It would be really hard to explain the why I'm living with a seven year old cartoon child <laughs> on a date. <laughs> um. I think it's that being said, I think, I think the whale no, is still not. worse. With, with why, why Tommy would be living with, <laughs> with an old English whale. teacher that weighs 600 with pounds? With an 800-pound yeah. yeah. gay English teacher that lives with Tommy. That is easier to explain than a seven-year-old child. I don't know. It's I my cousin know. or something. Yeah. He's a Big Brother program guy. Yeah. No, Big Brother, you 
you don't have the kids who live with you. Tommy does. I'm, I'm well, sure he does. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I'm going with the way. I it, it, I was I'm more physically revolted by the idea of living with the whale than I am by the idea of living with Big Ben. Yeah. I'm going with the whale as well. At least Pigpen is a fucking kid, and maybe you could be like, hey, dude, why don't you clean yourself up? Why don't you put on some deodorant? The whale has gotten himself to this him. point. Yes. <laughs> yeah. The whale is a full-grown adult. He knows the choices he's making. And also, we're living in New York City, Jersey City. Apartments are small. Apartments mm. are expensive. He's taking up a whole fucking room sitting there. Yeah. At least Pigpen's small. If your AC unit breaks out one day. Oh. Whew. Gross. Rudy. I can't believe I'm saying this, but the whale is worse than Pigpen. <laughs> this is and nuts. I hate Pigpen. Pigpen, I, I just, I'll just have to pray that Child Protective Services shows up and he <laughs> becomes, he just gets taken away. Puts you in jail, so you have a roommate there instead. Yeah, <laughs> I'd rather have a cellmate than Pigpen. Than a roommate in Pigpen. <laughs> yeah, Jay. Did you guys see the movie The Will? This no. guy's like letting it, letting in and like befriending Jehovah's Witnesses. Talk about an awful roommate. <laughs> this guy just has has people just coming in and just like you come home, you'd be st- sitting there talking to like a Jehovah's Witness. Hard past the whale. Now that the Kool Aid Man is out, you're, it's going to be hard to beat the whale. Yeah, at least Pigpen's bringing in like Snoopy. Yeah, yeah that'd be sick. <laughs> yeah. Actually, he's bringing Snoopy in cool. Cool. Charlie Brown. He does that little Sucks. dance, like Pigpen could do the little like yeah, little cartoon. Dance. I don't like Charlie. Brown. I played Charlie Brown on a play in elementary school, so you I did. can't shit talk. You were Charlie. He was. Uh, yeah, Charlie Brown's Valentine's That's Day. That's pretty big. You, you no actually shit. you got that speech almost word for word. I remember I put it side by side during that episode. Yeah, and it was it was pretty impressive. He did the whole speech from you, memory. You gotta from get Charlie. Really? a DB page for that. Yeah, <laughs> I I, I, I know it's on tape. Like, my dad has it on VHS tape, but I can't find it. That'd dude. be great content. We'll see. As far as, Charlie's fr- content. as far as, like, Pigpen's friends goes, getting, like, more children into your apartment maybe isn't necessarily... Yeah, that's a good Yeah, point. not great. The, Just the Snoopy best thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, che, you're going with... Uh, uh, Pig, the, sorry. Uh, the Whale. The Whale. Blutman. Yeah, um... I thought of something I was going to say, and I forgot what I was going to say. Was it about how... However, um, the... The bathroom situation with the whale, Bad. all-time nightmare, all-time nightmare. I, I again, I don't want the. Oh, I remember what I was gonna say. It's probably a good thing that the final wasn't gonna be the whale and Kool Aid Man because we might have been debating that for five hours. Yeah. And I don't know if you guys have that time. Mm. I I do, but um, yeah, I mean I do. <laughs> I, yeah, I could have yeah. stayed here. Yeah, I would rather not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So the whale. Well, yeah. Is going into the finals versus the Joker. Uh, last advertiser of the day. Good chop. They sent me a box. Good chop. Everyone wants to start uh, start their year off right on the right foot. And for me, that means making sure that I'm eating well and having enough energy to do everything I want to do. But I'm not going to bu- run run to the butcher every single day to get a fresh cut of quality meat. Uh, that's just not going to happen this time of year. You know, it's winter. It kind of sucks. It's cold. It's nasty. That's why Good Chop is a lifesaver for me. They offer fully customizable boxes of high quality meat, seafood delivered directly to your door and on a schedule. Uh, the products are vacuum sealed and frozen at peak freshness so that you can stock your freezer and cook them when you want. Choose from over 70 high quality cuts, 100% grass fed ribeyes, USDA prime filet mignon, free range and organic chicken breast, pork tenderloin, and thick cut bacon, just name it. If you just cooked the uh, thick pa- uh, thick cut bacon yesterday, it was awesome. So much, so so good. Sounds good. Um, yeah, they offer sustainable most. and wild cut seafood, salmon, Pacific cod, uh, scallops, uh, shrimp, and more. Uh, they get. I got. Let me think. I got ground beef, steak, um, bacon, and I think I got chicken breast as well all but amazing really 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 good um good shop especially prides themselves in sourcing their meat that comes with no antibiotics and no hormones ever or no artificial ingredients only the good stuff just go to goodchop.com slash bracket 120 and use code bracket 120 to get 120 dollars off across your first four boxes that's code at bracket 20 one bracket 120 at goodchop.com slash bracket 120 to get 120 hours off goodchop.com slash bracket 120 code bracket 120 great deal it's an awesome deal and they're really really good uh all right finals joker versus whale uh the whale interest and uh, another matchup of that we all yeah. saw coming yeah of is. cinematic just heavyweights well, literally one uh but let's do let's do it joker versus uh the whale blutman the, the age-old debate of what's worse being a murderer or being fat yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the whale is vile he's grotesque hideous disgusting slob no thank you one for the whale jay so admittedly i haven't 
lived with like a, a roommate that's like not my wife or like a same sex roommate for uh, over a decade. But I do remember the most liberating parts about having a roommate is when your roommate is away. Yes. And your roommate is gone. And you can, you know, go beat your dick up or you can go <laughs> do something. You can listen to the music you like. You can do anything. What? But you, you can, can dig I, I, do I, that I, when your roommate's home. <laughs> Just yeah, the way no, you no, no, no. You can't it's beat different. your it's dick off your roommate. You can't beat it up. <laughs> yeah, you can, yeah. You you can masturbate. Beat it you cannot yeah. beat that no up. No way you can <laughs> beat yeah, your no. dick up. <laughs> yeah. You cannot speed back it when no. your roommate's there. <laughs> yeah. So just, I picture Jay getting up when his roommate leaves and being like, well, time to go beat my dick up. <laughs> beat, beat my <laughs> yeah, shit up. Pretty much. Yeah. Um, so just thinking about like getting home excited like um i I left work early maybe my roommate's not there today and then you got the fucking whale (laughs) nutting the gay porn right on the fucking recliner he's always on uh that's a hard pass for me he's gonna be the worst roommate possible um the whale the whale rudy jay arrived at the same point i had albeit from a very different (laughs) route um my thought was that the my biggest advantage for the joker is that he he doesn't work at home um, yeah. yeah. Yes, he is a psychopathic murdering clown, uh, and on top of that is Jared Leto. But he, which is he does go to jail, Rudy. Like he does spend time in jail. That's the point. That's yeah. also away from you, which is yeah, good. That's, that's, yeah. that's, a, good. that's a plus. That's very good. Yeah, I, I bet he Agreed. throws. I bet as much as we want to shit talk the Jared Leto Joker, I bet he throws a cool party. Yeah. Yeah. A cooler well, dude, in party Suicide that, Squad, we saw that he owns a nightclub. Right. A yeah. cooler yeah. party yeah, he's than like a, Heath Ledger so you're getting Joker into his a Lamborghini. Club. Right. He's like a he's like a promoter in the beginning of Suicide Squad yeah. in a club that yeah. Tommy would not get into. Well, wait. Yeah, I would if I was fucking roommates with him. Yeah, that's true. No, he would brick you. <laughs> 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 but um, for that reason alone, the fact that the Joker is at least out and is contributing, not contributing, he's busy. He's <laughs> leaving the apartment. He ain't contributing to he's, society. Yeah. He's taking away no, from society. Yeah, he's doing. He's just not in the apartment. That's the biggest thing alone. So I'm gonna go with the whale being the worst. The whale. I can't believe it, but these guys turned me. They swayed me. I was gonna go with the Joker, but they've convinced me being fat's worse. It's. Just, <laughs> <laughs> it's that's not the core argument. It's. The, I think the problem no, is no, the fact that he's kidding. there. Yeah, it's. Yeah. it's I mean, the, fat, the fatness there. is a big part of it. It's a, it's a part. And, and yeah. Arkham, like, that's a huge part. Yes. I didn't even consider that. Like, does he pay right when he's in Arkham? Yeah, he. I, I, I assume if it's he kind wants of to like, go back to the apartment, he would. We have a lot of yes. non-Sopranos fans, but like, if the head of the family is in the hospital, his the other guys pitch in. His the guys pitch in, make yeah. sure the, the underlings family's underlings. Okay. okay. Yeah, maybe Harley Quinn is giving you some cash on the side. Yeah, yeah. 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 She'll be testing you that whole time too. Margot Robbie will be coming over just like I want to pick up a few th- few his things. Yeah, I miss yeah, that so is much. so. I so they're like boyfriend girlfriend. Kinda, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, so that it's I miss Mr. Joe. Was it Mr. J? Yeah, yeah, yeah that that mm-hmm. could fuck me. She calls him pussy because I would so I'd give in immediately. Yeah, yeah. and then well, he would they, kill you. They break up. They break up though constantly. Do, yeah. Constantly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I still don't think he'd be cool with you fucking. No, you would get murdered. No. No. Yeah. No, I would be I would be going to the Bat Cave lickety split <laughs> if I did that. Yeah. This my I roommate's a the... real bad egg, Mr. Batman. <laughs> yeah. You're never gonna believe this. Yeah. Batman. Immediately <laughs> turning him in. <laughs> I'd be like, lock the door, uh, put so me in witness protection. That's yeah. a point for the Joker. Can fuck his girlfriend if you really try. Yeah. Yeah. That, if you're willing yeah, to risk yeah, it. That's, yeah, that's almost a point against, I think. Why? Mm. It's girl because it's the the risk isn't worth the reward. I kind of you agree. put you no you do what Rudy just said. You get Batman on the Joker. You turn the Joker in Arkham. Harley Quinn's all Joker, Joker breaks out, breaks out all, the time. all the time. Yeah, you true. can't count it. It's a short term thing. He's in Arkham. Yeah, that's he true. gets Arkham for like a yeah a couple months at a time max. Yeah, but that's and still a couple months. Ba- to Batman's never gonna kill. That's him. well, that's a plus. But the yeah, Harley you Quinn, you could just beat roommates with the Joker and just constantly narc on him. Yeah, but he never. <laughs> ba- Batman, he's over. <laughs> like police, he's over right now. And like he's just like, how do they keep fucking getting me? Literally, like right, he's like, all right, see you, Tommy. I'm going out. Like, yeah. Where are you going? Like, the uh, Met Gala. Uh, and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> Firstly, if you really were going five five hundred IQ, you could do double, and you could tell him where Batman yeah, is. Yeah, you start working with Batman, yeah. double agent. Yeah, he gives you. I guess if you, you know where Batman is. Yeah. Also, you assuredly would. None of us would fuck that up and then get 
crushed by both of them. You know what? That's fun. You know what's not fun? Watching some fat 800-pound pig <laughs> stuff his yes. fucking face with cold cuts and whatever else he eats. It was a lot of, uh, it was a lot of Italian farm. food, to be honest, in the movie. Yeah, it was a lot of pizza. But he'd be eating all of it himself. So yeah. it's not like yeah. even a lot of pizza, yeah. a lot of meatball subs. If I remember correctly, a lot of eggplant parm. That was the big three. Yeah. That so the whale was into. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna cool. say the whale is worse. <laughs> the whale is worse. Yeah, it's okay. it's it's the whale. Uh, Joker's gone. Sometimes the idea that you, no matter what, good day, bad day, average day, you're coming home and that guy's on the couch and he's just there. Yeah, jerking off. To Always gay there. Porn. <laughs> jerking off <laughs> to gay porn, eating <laughs> Italian food. Eating Italian food, and he has like like a, the drawer full of candy bars, right? Ugh. What was it? Yep. Cockroaches. Uh, cockroaches. Yeah. Yeah. Gross. That was really nasty. So the winner of the bracket episode one fourteen is. Uh, it's the fucking whale. <laughs> Just like we all thought, the worst roommate, you, any fictional roommate anyone could have is the whale. Brendan Fraser, shout out, won an Oscar for it. The worst, one of the worst roommates you could possibly have. I think we did good. I do this think, I don't one. remember how it went the last time we did it, but we might be due soon for another, like, bracket of bracket winners. Yeah, I think we might be getting there. We're at, because we did that at, we did the Cheyenne bracket, right? Or Chain Moments bracket at 50? Yeah. And then I think we did bracket of bracket winners for one or 75, maybe. No, I think it was longer ago. I must have thought it was like 60. I've never done one, too. Yeah. Yeah, we're about to do one. The bracket of bracket winners was fun last time, though. We're about to do that soon. Uh, but thank you guys for joining in. Thank you, Blutman, first time joiner in. Uh, and we'll see you guys next week with a new topic.